have this dream sometimes, where I'm this brain in a metal box. Just this brain, floating in liquid, useless, ugly, trapped in steel. A dream that I cannot escape, that no one knows I'm there. Alone. Afraid. Then I wake up and I think, what a nightmare, what, what a terrible dream. But I realize it wasn't a dream. That is what I am. A brain in a box. I am a mechanical, a cybernetic organism. They tell me I'm the wave of the future, a defender of liberty and a creature of the law. But I know I'm none of these. I'm nothing. I'm a brain in a box. He'll be here in a moment. I don't see why I have to be the one to escort this freak. It's ridiculous. I'm a lieutenant, after all. He's not a freak. He's a high-tech addition to our crime-fighting capabilities. Being assigned to him is an honor. Well, why should I get this honor? Look, Officer Lee, this attitude of yours will not be tolerated. You're on probation, remember? They say the thing isn't even finished yet. Almost tore the head off a technician because of some software glitch. That's just a rumor. Anyway, the techie survived. What the hell? What are you? Part machine, part cop. And part pig, apparently. Sarah, watch it. Getting a hold of a crisp, delicious egg waffle is not always easy. But for that golden egg of goodness, the chance to fix it up just the way you like it, to cut that perfect piece, almost any effort is well worth it. Ego Waffles, the part of a good breakfast that's too good to let go. Hey, let go my ego! Did he say, let go? Yo, you want to play some baseball? No, thanks. I'm going to chill. Dude, want to get some rock and roll tonight? Nah, I'm just going to hang. Hey, man, want to do some skateboarding at the mall? Nah, I'm not into it. You thought smoking pot would take you places you'd never been. So how come you're going... nowhere? Alright, let's get into it. Dr. Eleven, dropping the bombs already. Saying the Final Fantasy 15 ending was garbage. I don't disagree. Um, I've had it explained to me by some people in chat who were either much more perceptive or read a lot more wikis on the internet about what the fuck was going on. And it's interesting, but thoroughly unexplained and not all that interesting. Uh, if you don't know what's happening, let's go. Hey, I bunk. I love that B roll. Me too. Alright. Now for the traditional, what the fuck am I doing in this game? Reacquaintance. Billo Ch hold on, I can figure this out. Billo Chibaleco? Velocib... Velocibel... Velocibelco? No. Velocibelico? Ah. I think I got close. Mr. RTX London? Yep. I was not there. It seems like it was pretty intense. Um, Adam and Bruce look tired in every photo I see of them. They had, like, 
kind of a half day, one day to adjust to jet lag, and then, and then since uh, since we had fewer people there, the same amount of work, like uh, the same amount of panels and signing sessions and VIPs and stuff, that all got basically split or redistributed to fewer people. So I think Adam and Bruce probably were very busy. Hold on, I'm trying to test sound here. Okay, that seems like it might be a little loud. Going to RTX Sydney next year? I don't know. They haven't announced anyone except for Sugar Pine. And I don't know anything before uh, you guys do, basically. See Blade Runner? Yes. Got the Balashi. Baleko, like black, I guess? Lots of Blacko? Blacko? Ah. Well, thanks for guiding me. You still playing Nier? Um, not as much as I probably should, uh, if I ever intend on finishing it. So let's see here. I think it's L for log. No objectives. There we go. Steph's trying to order a custom Xbox controller and it's not going well. Turn Knotone to Dr. Igwe. I just want a redeem code page to look. I just want it to appear. I just want it once. I'm now trying it on a phone because it apparently doesn't want to work on desktop. I may have to actually turn on the console and try to do it that way. I'm just stupid. Sorry, Steph. No. I'm gonna start checking off these side quests. No chicken boy to annoy my gameplay. Sadly, no. Oh, if only he were here. Um. I don't know how many of these I'm going to be able to check off. Uh, you like the Middle-earth games? King Duck, I'm assuming you're asking because of Shadow of War? I liked Shadow of Mordor, but I didn't play- I didn't finish it much. I- I played it for about six hours and I was like... I kinda- I kinda got it. Like, I kinda- I think I have it figured out. And I don't know that I want to play 30 more hours of this. Um... And Shadow of War kinda feels like the same thing. It's just a huge open world with a lot of icons and all in- I don't know. I played a lot of Batman, and then I played a lot of, like, Assassin's Creed. I've played a lot of that kind of game. I don't know that I need it more, but uh, I'll give it a shot. How's Evil Within 2? I really like it, but I haven't put the time into it quite yet. I was honestly waiting to play it on PC, and now I have it on PC. So, there's kind of like a, an intro. What is that? What is that objective? check the sound. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, so there's like, kind of like Evil Within 1, how it kind of had a, a, a fuck. it had a huge, uh, ah, I forgot about that. Had a huge scare se sequence at the beginning, like a kind of a tech showcase. Evil Within 2 is kind of the same way. The game doesn't really start proper for, uh, I want to say about an hour. So I ran, I'm going to run through that on PC. Or I ran through that on PC, and now I got to where the game starts. And it's it's 60 FPS, it's a higher resolution. Oh, it's beautiful. I gotta admit, um, the id tech engine is really nice, and people are making some cool shit with it. I'm excited for uh, Wolfenstein 2. Because it's running on the same... same thing. What's up, Jess? Oh, shit! Dark Kurum has subbed. Long time since I watched the stream. I'm on a new account as well. My old one was Dark Kurum. 1, 2, 3 is pretty much the same. I think I remember. But it was a long time ago, right? Like, maybe a year or more? Um... Knowing nothing about Evil Within, I was surprised at how badly the UI looks from a graphic design perspective point of view, at least in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Maybe it's not quite as as visually slick as a lot of other modern games. Oh, during Doom. Okay, that, well, that wasn't too long ago then. Depending. I was playing Doom for a long time as well. Um, yeah, the UI is pretty minimal. Pretty minimal and pretty, like, grid-based. It, it, it looks like a really nice PC game from the early 2000s. Just in terms of its, its UI and layout and stuff. I don't mind. The, um... The game itself seems interesting. 
It, it is basically like a slightly mo more open world Resident Evil 4, which is pretty fucking great. It depends. I'm curious how long it's going to stay open, or how long that'll get paid off. Because some games will do that for a little bit, and then they'll realize how hard it is to make environments like that, and then it just sort of condenses down into linear levels. Which is okay. But uh, I'm curious if that game's going to do that. Or if it's... Some games do that. Some games, like, get constricted as they go. Other ones open up as they go. And it could go either way. Is Dragon's Dogma good? Yes. It's very good. That game is huge. It's... It's like Skyrim with Japan. My sub go through? Yes, Tarsus, it did. Sorry, the, the reason that I'm not doing anything right now is I'm trying to find a... Uh, a sub jam for you. A sub hype, as the kids say. And believe me, I know what the kids say. So I think I've, I've got the album here. Hmm. Yeah, this is pretty good. This isn't very prey, but who cares? I'm feeling it right now. Thank you for the resub, Grace. 20 months. We're all dying. We're all dying, we're all dead. So why not play some video games? Tarsus, thank you for the sub. Here's a jam for you. I have to I have to enable the track. Here we go. I don't want to live in a future that doesn't sound like that. What's this tune called? Barren Space. That is called Love Theme by Robert Parker. One of them synthwave outrun fellers that you you kids keep saying loving. Told you. Told you I know what the kids are on about. Oh yeah. Here's here's something that's exciting for me and only me. Time I tab out, tab gets stuck. Um, I finished South Park Stick of Truth. I finished a video game. It's weird. It was weird to see credit roll. That's something that's, that I kind of noticed with games switching to like games of service and a lot of games wanting to be games of service. And a lot of games not really having a game over anymore. Or like a, an ending. It was weird to play a game that had that. Like a, the game is over now. And there's other stuff you can do. But you have finished. You finished the game. How do you feel about the IGN acquisition of Humble Bundle? Should people even care? I don't think it's going to change much. Humble Bundle seemed like they were pretty... Pretty, um... It seemed like they had their business plan figured out. It wasn't a very volatile company. Um, it seemed like they were just doing what they were doing. And, and being good at it. I already they have that, right? I think I already got that. A long time ago. Stun charges would be good. Can I make those? I don't think I can. Oh, disruptor batteries. I don't have enough uh, gray blocks. Hey, love machine. So yeah, I don't think it's going to change all that much. Is this Guts? Where am I going? Yeah, okay. So there's a man in Guts I have to find. Which is probably going to involve finding a security station so I can tag his tracker. Stick of Truth seemed pretty good from what I got from this stream. Yeah, Tilith. I liked it. Um, it's interesting to see a game with a, and this is kind of related to actually being able to see credits, that game had a decent but, um, 
manageable amount of content. What was the last game you beat before that? Mm. Cuphead? I finished that a couple nights ago. Although, finishing is also kind of loose with that one. I might... I may try... I may try to uh, S-rank everything. Um, because I, I played the first boss on Extreme, and I was like, that was actually pretty fun. It's like hard, but faster. Did you finish in prep, uh, in prep for Fractured But Whole? Yes, I did. That is exactly why I went back to that game. I got to go to that... So there was a paid video opportunity with uh, Ubisoft. They invited us to San Francisco to do a gameplay video on Fractured But Whole. And playing that, I was like, oh shit, yeah, right. So this game is actually really fun. And I like it, so I should play it. Pretty sure Pay is a backward Q&A right now. Sure, that's... I mean, that's usually what my streams are, but I'm, I'm fine with that. I like, actually like that. I like talking with people. And if people ask me questions, I don't have to think of what to talk about. So it's actually pretty easy for me to just ramble. But people are always feeding me stimulus. These are my circuit boards now. Oh, that's a weird sensation. To be like, clawing after garbage as you're floating by it in zero G. Oh, these are my scraps. I need them. Alright. Let me check what my objective was again. Did you play Kepo with someone else? I've been considering buying it. I want to know if it's 2P, 2P or 1P is better. Yeah, I played it with Stephanie. My wonderful girlfriend Stephanie, who is... Oh! Wow, you... Wait. No, I was looking at examples. Oh. It was really dumb because I found somebody who had apparently made, like, a D.Va controller, but they used, like, purple, and I want to be like, what the fuck is this? She not purple is blue. It's absolutely blue. Shut up. You people don't know what you're doing. You're all colorblind and dumb. And then I decided to look at some examples of some designs to potentially, you know, actually make my controller look, look good. Oh, okay. I also accidentally clicked on the Twitch stream of... Uh, of John that was still running, and it was like he apparently had like screens up, so it was infinite Johns. Like, oh, yeah, into the sometimes he puts his uh, <laughs> he'll point his, his camera up. at his monitor, yeah. And I was like, oh my god, <laughs> we found the portal, it's through Twitch, it is to the, the universe of infinite John Smiths, <laughs> it just keeps going just I've forever, waiting for, for so long to have more than more than one, yeah, to use fight sticks, yes. I have, I have a set like a PC, PlayStation, Xbox stick, but it's been a long fucking time since I played a, a decent fighting game. I'm, a, I was thinking about playing Injustice 2, but I was like, surely they're gonna announce it for PC soon, right? And it'll have all the DLC and shit. Maybe not. Maybe I just need to get it on Xbox. Or hey there, little guy. Uh, I don't remember exactly where the security station was in the guts, so I'm just gonna have to float around a bit to find it. Maintenance. Hyperitum. I remember going through it, but I think it was on the other end. You should tell Steph I'm building my new PC and I found a pink case and it's going to be diva themed. Ah! This is what Grace says. I really want to find a pink. I have a white case and I now kind of wish that I could just spray paint it pink and then put diva things on it. Shit. So, I like this. Where'd you get the pink case from? I want to know where this pink case is from. Send some links to this pink case. And maybe... Maybe... Maybe Santa Claus will make my diva case pink, huh? Maybe. What about you, Santa Lar? <laughs> that would be too obvious, to <laughs> Okay, Santa, Santa Claus, Santa Claus. Santa enjoys some, uh... Oh shit, a techno pal. Ah, fuck! Fuck! I don't remember what they're weak to. Saw for a second there. Fucking shit. I hate these guys. Uh, explosive psychic EMP. Okay. Um. Psycho shock is what I need, right? I already have it equipped. I still don't remember what the buttons are. There we go. Ah, shit. Fuck. Need two of you, didn't need two of you. Alright, let's go hide again. Oh, sorry, Grace, I see that you linked it. Oh no, flowers! Oh no! I've stumbled upon a nice romantic evening. Alright. Hold on, I gotta fry this fucking alien with my mind. Thanks for the resub, Cyborg Centaur. Welcome.
do have plenty of bullets for this thing. Can't tell if it's bugged. Is he just ignoring me? Shit. There we go. Ass. All right. Is that an actual alarm? I should save. Oh, magnetosphere. I don't think I need to go there. So hold on a minute. Here. Here's the the case stuff. Very nice. Yeah, it's clean. I mean, yeah, like, I, well, the thing that I, I like about gloss. mine is, will my stuff fit in that? I don't know. Probably. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Diva car? Uh, the stick shift is oh there. Oh, my God! Little Diva handle. There's a Diva umbrella with a little mecha handle over How there. I get this. It's got a Lucio audio. I don't know. I want this. Where do I get it? <laughs> Lawrence, I've decided that if we get you a car, we're going to have to make it all diva themed, then, we, then I can swap it out. I hope you're okay with this. I buy a car. Yeah, you buy a car, but I get to you make it all diva themed, and then sometimes you can just drive my... You know, you can drive Scarlet, and then I can drive the diva car, and then we just switch off. Mm. And because I know that you are so awesome and amazing and comfortable in your masculinity, that you're totally fine with doing exactly this and what I want. I mean, we can discuss this Buying you later. a car? Yeah. <laughs> and oh. having it be diva themed so that I could enjoy it as well. But I'm sure that you it will just enjoy be your it car too. At that point. What the <laughs> fuck is... Hold on. Gonna be around here somewhere. Earthworms, what college did I go to? University of Texas at Dallas. That's a weird sound. I can't remember. Where the security booth was. He can repair my stuff, though. Are you a bad enough dude to buy your girlfriend a car? Video games have been asking this question for decades. Where the fuck? Arboretum again? Oh, I got turned around. Okay, whoops. I figured with all that, uh, all that twirling, I'd probably get turned around at some point. Red legs, thank you for the resub. You've seen Fateful Findings three times. It's worth it's worth a couple viewings. There's a lot of a lot of detail, a lot of subtlety to that movie. It's probably worth forty bucks. Yes, I can say that pretty confidently. Maintenance. I swear it was on the main path here. Ah shit. Uh, oh yeah, I can use this psychic power to blow them up. Uh, kinetic blast. I recall is pretty good at it. Oh, except there's one of these assholes. Hold on. Close enough. Ow. Shit. Please get out. Why am I getting, I'm getting like yanked? Oh, there's like a, oh, I didn't know that. Whoa, okay. Yeah, there's like a little, uh, fuck. There's a little, uh, conveyor belt you can use. That's kind of cool. Run around the area faster. God, I think those might be my least favorite enemy. Boy, do I hate those things. Alright. I'm gonna yank some guts out of it. Three groups of friends. Oh, separate groups of friends. Yeah, it's a uh, movies like that are kind of a treasure to drop on somebody, make them endure it, get to witness their suffering. Where the fuck? Uh, I don't know where I'm going. I guess maybe maybe it'll be marked on the map. I should I should look at that a little closer.
doesn't kill as many of them as it seems like it would. Alright, let's look at the map. Cargo tunnel? Okay, this just... I don't think I've been through this area before. So let's see here. That's where I came from. Research level. Magnetosphere controls. Transitional level. Cargo tunnel. Comes out to level B. Level A. So security station is this blue thing? I don't see one. <laughs> anywhere. I think you can hit security from any other part of the ship, though, so I'm actually going to go back to the Arboretum, because I know that there's a security station right there. How long has he been streaming? Is he playing it on release night? Wait, you mean this game? Shark game? I don't know that I streamed it when it came out. If you're if you're even referring to me. In this game, which you may not be. Let's see if I can... Ooh, just kind of bop you along. Yeah, look at that. Get a little speed boost riding this thing. Ah, well. Doesn't matter all that much. <sighs> Alright. Well, I'm gonna consider that still not a complete waste of time, because I was able to blow up some aliens. What's up, Red Attack? Welcome, welcome. What are you salty about, Mr. Zorin? Your OJ salt. That's pretty salty. Oh, a little past. Oh, interesting. They does do. That, they do like metallic like accents. Yeah, they. Like, not everything has metallic stuff. But what do you think? I think that looks really close. That's pretty good. Like the mint. So I'm see. wondering if, if I should swap it out and make it more pink, and then the blue accents. But I feel like her her costume is more blue than red. Yeah. I think that's that's fair. So let's see. So we call the security booth is around here. Here it is. These things are real handy. Okay, so crew. Yeah, I can pick out guts. Okay, so what am I looking for here? I remember his name, Josh Dalton. He's not there. I guess he's he's from a different area, <laughs> but he wound up in the guts, so maybe he's in the roster for another thing. Got this music. There he is. All right. Contact a qualified engineer. Back to the guts. Oh! -yo! Do you know anything Denmark? I'm. I don't think I do. No. The Tomb Raider before the newest one stresses me the fuck out for some reason. The, the one that was just Tomb Raider. It's pretty... It can be pretty stressful. It's a very intense kind of game. What about... What about The Sims with Robaz? Like, doing more Sims videos with him? That was a long time ago. I haven't talked to Robaz in a while. I should reach out to him. I saw him streaming on Twitch the other day. I was like, oh, it's Robaz! Um... My English is broken as fuck. It works. Don't worry, Zorin. Um, you you say enough that your meaning comes through. At least I think I'm getting it. So, don't worry about it. Uh, but yeah, I was really glad to see the robots streaming. I'm, I missed him. Restoring the panel said they want to and got permission to, but they need some time and resources, so it'll be a little while probably. Oh, you mean to collaborate with Robaz again? Is that is that what you're referring to? That's great. I didn't see the panel. <laughs> I uh, is there a, is there a VOD of it on Twitch or something like that? Shit, I should have tweeted it out. Ah, that's something that I've been I've been whiffing on pretty hard, with events and stuff, getting social lined up. It's just hard to. Oh, the mothers be aware thing. Oh, oh yes, yes. Man, I hope that hope that turns into something. Did I did I float right on by him? I was like right here. Maybe I wasn't. 
Eh? Okay. How hidden is this fool? He's on the other side of a wall. Oh, can I get through there? Yeah, looks like I can squeeze, maybe. Josh. Get, does this thing have to move? What the fuck? Really enjoyed the Star Collabs a few weeks ago? That dude is hilarious. He really is. He's just a great dude in general. How do you... Damn. Ah, this is really strange. All I want to do is get on the other side of this wall. Maybe I can just go around and see. There we go. There we go. Okay. Alright, Josh Dalton. Oh, shit. Sorry, I did just have to blow up your corpse a little bit. There were bugs floating around, and I didn't like that. I'll be with you in just a second. Got a Q beam? Well, hello. I can dismantle that later. Alright. Hello, Lane. Josh? What the hell is this? I got a security request saying to... It's not funny, asshole. You know what's not funny? Taking credit for my design. That's what this is about? I'm senior on the Black Box Project, Josh. That's how it works here. If you weren't such a piss-poor team player, you'd understand that. Oh, and by the way, I had to fix a bunch of your calculations, so it's not you. Seriously? You're recording this? <laughs> but is, is this a big sting operation, Josh? You gonna hand me over to the DA? <laughs> You're so pathetic. I'm done here. Josh, what are you doing? Let's just see how good my calculations are. I swear, if you don't put that down, I will rip it out of your sweaty hands and... Josh! Jesus. Wait, you're still there? I thought they shot you. Let's see here. That feels good. Turrets and shit? Why did all this stuff spawn here? Kind of care about the new Blade Runner? Did a uni project about the original? So I'm kind of interested in the new one. You should watch the new one. It is an excellent film. Alright, well, now I got the key card. Find information on the Black Box Project in the hardware labs. I believe also this is hardware. No, there was another one that's hardware labs. There we go. Can I get to the hardware labs? Is that something I can do? Let's run the lobby. And then that one. I don't know. I don't remember where that is. So yeah, I have to take out this dude. Shuttle Bay. Alright. Is it really that good? Might take my dad next time I'm off work. He got really happy when I saw the first trailer. Yeah! If, if he liked... If he likes the property and he got excited about the trailer, you should absolutely take him. Oh, I, I thought it was fantastic. The kind of movie that I've, I've been thinking about a lot since I saw it. And there aren't a lot of movies that stick in my head like that. Oh, fuck. I don't want this. Ugh, I hate these things so much. So much. Uh, you finally get your controller all customized? Well, I keep thinking, is this the right color scheme? Are these the right choices? Is this what it should be? And then what I was going to do is that I was trying to debate if I should have Javier make me a sticker that will go in between the D-pad and the right thumbstick. Yeah. Like a little tiny sticker that'll be either the little angry bunny face 
or if I have him make two stickers that can go on like the handles of the controller, like the left and right side, you know, where you put, grip it against your palm, okay. where it's just the two bunny, like like the the bunny whiskers that she wears. Mm. So yeah, that can work. Um, and then those would have to be pink because like it's a blue controller with pink and white accents, and then the black grips on the back, uh -huh. which I feel like kind of does lend it to be more uh, more closer to the costume in general. Uh, but I'm trying to ask his opinion. Like, does he think that this looks like it work? Does he have pink that he could do? Would it work better? Like, if we did a sticker and I did it in black of just a little angry bunny, and then nothing on the handles because stickers on the handles might just wear off more. I'm trying to get his opinion. Maybe. Either that or I am wondering if I should reverse it and make the controller pink and the button blue. So I might do a version right now of that, mm. just to see if I like it. Can't sleep and have to get up at 4.30, but RTX London was fab. My feet are sore. Glad that you had a good time. I guess it's... I guess it's over now, huh? I, uh... Kind of out of the loop, doing my my ritualistic weekend hibernation. <laughs> What's up, Rymore? I think they'd be going to like a tube. Well, yeah. it's Friday night. <laughs> uh, that's what this room is. It's my little digital womb, my <laughs> fortress of solitude. Is it truly a fortress of solitude if I'm sitting next to you? No. And you're talking to people on the eh, internet? Eh. I suppose not. No. Superman didn't stream much. Maybe, maybe that was his problem. Yeah, a lot of problems. What's up, Desi? At least when you're in the UK, but London is so far away. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Or rather, I, I'm not, not familiar with that experience. Somewhat obviously. America's pretty big, but uh. Hey, I don't know what traveling through London is like. So do I have to fix this? I guess I can just climb up. Neat. I don't know where this goes. I don't know if I've been to this area before. I guess I'll find out. What's in this door? Shuttle bay. Oh! This is where I have to go. Well, I'm here, so might as well. It's canon that Steph sits... Lauren's chair and sits his mood lighting every Friday, so this man will not destroy us. Yes. Keeps me calm. So let's see here. I have to incapacitate this dude without killing him. I don't think I. What? <laughs> yeah, they keep. I don't know why they always photo him like that. Been playing Divinity Sin 2, and despite not being a big RPG fan, really enjoying it. I'm excited to start that game. Uh, let's so let's see here. Access doll shuttle command, and then incapacitate doll. Miguel wants me to incapacitate him, not kill him. Moving doll's more recent neuro mods will make doll forget his orders to infiltrate telephone and keep his knowledge of how to pilot the shuttle home. Maybe he can fly someone. What do you think about Denmark? I don't think a, I don't think uh, a whole lot about Denmark. To be honest, I'm sure it's a wonderful place. But I know nothing of it or its people. Uh, Jay, will I be playing or streaming Destiny 2 on PC when it comes out? Yes! I already played it on console, but I'm going to play through it again. PC is going to be the platform that I like try to do the raids and stuff on. I think all my coworkers are going to be the same way. Oh boy. Alright. So homeboy is here somewhere. Oh, fighting the robots. Okay. Just trying to tag everything right now. Any games you finished in your spare time recently? Uh, I, I talked about it earlier, earlier on the stream, but I finished Cuphead and Stick of Truth. Oh. Wait, you're an evil. Dash CM9 black Shit. box operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of. Oh, black box operator? Hmm. Maybe I should do that black box project. Maybe I can like deactivate those robots. 
Maybe I will do that. I think I will do that. I'm getting to the part of the game where I'm not sure... I, I'm, I'm getting the vibe like I need to finish up side quests because I think the game might end abruptly. Or I'll cross a, cross a point where I, if I had done a certain s chunk of subquest, something else might happen. That's kind of what it feels like. So hardware labs. Hardware labs. Let's go to the hardware labs. Where am I? Right now. I'm in... Sh I'm near Shuttle Bay. Or is this part of the Shuttle Bay? Oh, it's Guts. Okay, so let's see here. Guts does not connect to the Harbor Labs. I have to go through the lobby. <sighs> so I guess I might may as well go back to the arena, back to the lobby. Because I can't... I guess I could go to Psychotronics, go outside to the lobby. That might be faster. Alright. Let me get the psychotronics. So I'll just follow the signs. That's how guts works. I don't want to go through the shuttle bay right now. A little hot in there. Plus, I may not be able to get through that zone without doing the the quest oblig obligation stuff. Here, girl. I am Danish and I like you. Also, Denmark get dark humor. So I think that's why I love Funhouse so much. Oh, interesting. I appreciate cultures that that like to dabble in dark humor. Microgravity detected. All right. Psychotronics. Come on. Self-destruct key. And this what quest do I have tagged for this? I thought I couldn't get that until I dealt with what's his name. Get Alex's arming key. Hmm. I guess there's a. I guess I could just get it. That's weird. But they made a whole thing about how I had to deal with this guy first. One of the biggest desires I have after watching 2049 is for it to be a game in the style of Metal Gear Solid 5. Well, like open world, and then you have to go. You have to go take out replicants or something. I'm bringing it up a lot, but boy do I wish there were, were an easy way to play the Blade Runner game that came out in the late 90s. I mean, it's Psychotronics, alright. Because boy was it great. Oh, you're, pl you're playing Kingdom Hearts? Now there's a game I need to finish. That's been a long time in the making. But that's okay, I've got time. What is it, 2018 at the earliest now? Wait, what's that? Oh, it's Psychotronics, okay. Yeah. Oh, I think that might be the security station, too. You know, the one that I couldn't find. It's been a long time looking around. Ah! Jeez! Ah, 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 ah. Shit! God, I hate those things so much. Get to use another repair kit. Does anyone know if the others of Funhouse have Twitch channels? Yes! Jacob and John have been streaming a lot recently. Jacob is Jorcub, J O R C U B. And then John is Pizza Posse69. Which are both fantastic names. Look here. Give me this trash. Oh, hello, Supply Crate. I will take those things. Definitely would be fun. I feel like a lot of cyberpunk games are either point and click or shoot first story later games. I'm holding my breath for CD Projekt Reds. Yeah, a lot of people are. I've been reading some things that aren't aren't too favorable about that company. Was it somebody somebody's uh, pulled together a lot of ratings from Glassdoor, uh, and apparently CD Projekt is not a happy place to be right now, or hasn't been for a while, which is a bummer. Witcher 3 seemed to be executed on so well that I was hoping that... Maybe they lost a lot of staff or something, but... I was hoping that that same magic, they could just keep rolling. They had let... I was hoping that they had, like, a good group of people that were all pretty stable, so that team could continue making stuff, but... Maybe they don't. Oh, you stuffed on space paranoids? Yeah, that's not easy. Quick tip for cystoids, they react to movement and will attack anything that moves, be it dead or alive. 
Yeah, I've, I've thrown stuff at them, but... Uh... The, uh... Kinetic wave or whatever seems to be the most efficient way to deal with them, because at least it's not bullets, and it's a somewhat regenerating resource. And it's AoE, so... It's not, not too bad to just blow them away with it. So, let's see here. Yeah, I need to get to the exterior. It's on level 3, which I can get to by running all the way to the back. This area. And I remember this place. A long time since I've been here. Long time. It doesn't look like enemies respawned here, though, which is good. That's disappointing to hear. Hopefully they can still come back from whatever slump they're in. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know if they're in a slump. That's the thing. It's it's all circumstantial. But apparently, yeah, according to the Glass Door ratings, they're, they are well under average ratings for other large companies like Ubisoft and even EA. So, that's a bummer. I don't know what's causing it, but yeah, hopefully they can... Even if, even if there isn't a problem, I just want that game. Someone saw me. Oh, shit. A mimic killed me, because I was getting too loose. Too loose and... I dig Tron. Fuck anything involving his world, it always drags. It kind of does, yeah. I was looking forward to it. I saved relatively recently. Wait. I am in Psychotronics, yeah. Wait, I needed to be on level 3. Maybe I can just run up, or jump up there. So, this is level 2. I can't go up from here. Yeah, do I just have to kind of cheat it? Use my super space jumps. Which I can do. There we go. <sighs> Haven't played Witcher 3 yet because my PC can't run it too well. Yeah, it's kind of the new the new sky uh the new crisis. That'll always, for me, always be the game that I go to after an upgrade to see how smoothly it runs. <laughs> Tron's bitch ass. What did you say the names was again? Oh, okay. Here, I'll just, I'll write them to you just to make sure you get it correctly. So those are their Twitch usernames. Alright, now we're... ship is getting pretty pretty scary these days. It'd be nice to be able to run past all these guys, but I don't know if I can. So where was I headed? Hardware Labs, right? Which I need to get to by going through the lobby, as I recall? Oh, it says I can just go right to Hardware Labs from the exterior. Alright, so I should have a quest objective somewhere. It's not that. It's not that. Should be the side quest thing. Wait, hold retard my lives. I just saw it. Okay, let's see if I can just fly there without getting killed. Let's see those lasers. I don't know though, I still think that's. This is a really cool aspect of prey that you can, uh. Oh, fuck off. Don't shoot at me! Damn it, there's a. Big ass alien right behind you. I'm just gonna cheese this guy out. God, I hate these things so much. I feel like I'm kind of near the end game where I'm just dealing with like the most annoying enemies all the time. Fuck. Reload. Please. There. Fuck you. Kill. 
Radiated. Situation is intense. There. I want your beams. I want your beams. Give me there. <sighs> I looked like a deep space yak. Yeah. A psychic deep space yak. Okay, so breach fail safe. I guess I can open it from here, which is nice. I want Van Helsing McCree to choke me with his lava arm. Love, young love is, is just a beautiful thing. Which feels safe. If I hit this, will I be able to go inside? I mean, it's repaired. Fuck, why am I getting irradiated? What's going on here? Status effect is actually real annoying to deal with. Okay, good. So wait, do I have to break this to make it... ...breached or not breached? Huh. What happens if I break the breach sail face? So fail safe, does it open the door for me? Hmm. Indeed. You off to bed? Alright. Night, Zorin. I guess it keeps the door shut. Huh. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention to stream the moment I said that, you know, the Grace typed it somewhere. Indeed she did. Indeed she did. Yeah, I did kind of look like the Nike guy. Air Jordan. Oh, that's not a... Hmm. Well, I don't know what I'm doing here, but let me see if I can smash this and see what happens. Well, a whole lot of nothing's happening. MP, Recycler, Typhon, no Wave. I don't think I have anything then. Actually, now I'm just shooting at the wall. Uh, is there a way inside? I mean, they... It is an entry marked on the map. This shit open, at least. I'm gonna be real annoyed if I gotta turn around and go all the way around. Remember when I was just saying how cool it was that Prey let you sort of explore and find your own path to things? Remember when I was saying that? I'm sure there's something going on here I just don't get yet. How far along in the storyline am I? As far as I know, decently far. Oh, Jesus Christ, I just locked it again. I didn't hit the right button. I hit the wrong button. Oops. I thought I was near the end, but maybe I don't I may not be. Somebody said I'm in the last third for sure. That was a while ago. Yep. Why what what what's up? Oh uh, What's happening? Oh uh, I'm look I'm watching What are you called it very typical ad for for Call of Duty right now. Very typical? Well, it's the the fact that they're like you got to get the squad back together, so it's a live action skit of yeah. like a bunch of dudes like getting everybody. And then they're like, yeah, we really need a sharpshooter, and I'm like, oh, this is when they're gonna bring in the woman. And sure enough, it's a woman with kids is playing darts at like a family fun arcade. And I was like, oh, shocking! You're gonna get the woman to be your sniper. All right, okay. Is that like a? Is that typically what women are relegated to? Well, I feel like it, so, of course, it, it, I mean, the typical thing of, like, healers, but then oh. it turns into, like, ladies will be the sniper, but it's, like, a bunch of dudes where they're all, like, oh, man, we gotta get everybody together, oh, like, Call of Duty's going back to World War Two. that means we all gotta get together, and it's, like, they're driving around in a car to pick them all up, and, like, one dude, they're, like, how are we gonna get this dude, he's got, like, a wife and kids, the dude's already waiting on the side of the street, like, what took you guys so long, I wanna get the hell out. You're like, oh yeah, we gotta make a joke about the fact that, oh, I hate my wife and my kids. Oh, or like, God, oh, they dragged me down. Yeah, I wanna. Oh. Like, that's that's what those. It's like the same jokes 
played out again, but then also trying to be like, I'm like, all right, let's wait. We've had four dudes that we've shown get together. When is the woman going to come in? Well, we need a sharpshooter. I was like, oh, there she is. And then sure enough, it shows like the mom in an arcade. I'm like, all right, at least it's like a mom with like a baby. Yeah. It's like there do stuff, but I'm also like, you're playing. I, I could write oh. exactly what this commercial how you like laid out all uh-huh. of like exactly the the targets that you think you have to hit all the demographics like, represented neatly and cleanly yeah and i'm just like oh you're it's like the same thing is there one person you're not color? really oh yeah just one yeah there's yeah. like a dude and a girl that show up at the very end that they're they're there like well garcia is supposed to be like a hispanic dude oh, okay uh the the other the mom i mean she's got dark hair but you don't necessarily tell if like kind of what she is i guess but i don't know well at least I'm, they're depicting the audience as being older that's kind of an interesting sign of the times a bit better which is good um but i'm, I'm like it's uh, i think i think I I'm feel being like haunted. if you're gonna well it's more if you're going to create an ad that is trying to be disruptive or funny or like you know, uh, really attention grabbing. Uh-huh. Like, kind of looking at that, I exactly saw what that was and wasn't. You sized it up. I wasn't really impressed. Yeah. I wasn't super impressed. I'm like, I'm. Uh, that's almost an expectation of what I think that you would. That you would do. Like, you're not doing something unique. Come back to me when your agency has, has a more unique idea. Uh, maybe they didn't want unique. I don't know. I, I just was like, it. <laughs> It just felt too typical that I'm like, uh, well, I mean, it's not the worst thing ever. And I definitely <laughs> don't, like, hate it with every fiber of my being or think it was stupid. Mm-hmm. It's just more that I'm like, you guys have so much money. Like, there's so many creative, ah. like, people out there and ideas that I feel like, okay, you made, you made another commercial. All right. Another year, another commercial. Yeah. And oh. there is a poltergeist haunting me. Yeah. Well, stuff you can you can blow everyone's socks off with all the cool things you do at Blizzard. to sound. Oh, stop. Summoning those guys. There's too many advent calendars as well. I just found out that there's a cheese advent calendar. Isn't that your kind of thing? I just want cheese. I don't want to be... <laughs> you don't want to have an obligation? Some kind of game? Be, <laughs> I don't want to be told that I can't have a cheese on a certain day. Or, or I guess it's supposed to be surprise cheese. Yeah. Different kinds of cheeses for different moods. Health back? Or maybe there are two? Requesting new operators. Stop requesting operators! Hold on. Shit. Okay, I guess that's dead now. Dang robots and haunts. Ooh. Alright, JD. Thanks for the resub. 20 months is a very long time. TI Calculator. Thank you for the Prime sub. Alright. I gotta figure out how to get the satellite out. Um, looks like there's a crane there. Stop requesting operators. Stop it. Stop 
stop, 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 stop. Okay, here we go. Eh. Alright, well. I think I got all that. What's up, John's Life? I have to apologize. When I last caught your stream, post a little comment just because trying to say to think positively. Got a lot of backlash for it. So sorry for having a comment. How's everything going? Um, well. I don't know that, uh, sounds like it may have been a little more complicated than that, but I'm sure that bygones are bygones. I'm doing okay. Got some water. Doing side quests and pray. Resonator, stop requesting operators. Oh yeah, I saw your, uh, you were talking about, um, you have another EP in the Discord, yeah? I will have to check it out. Oh, wrong one. Nope, nope, nope. Damn it. Ugh. God. God. Two of them! Guys, for real. Stop it with these fucking operators. Don't need it. Ooh. Shit's getting all complicated. Alright, how do I... Huh. Is the only way that you have to force the door open? There's no... There's gotta be a... Q-beam cells. Um, hmm. Looks like there's some platforms going on here. Doesn't look like there's a hole in the wall. Pretty much anywhere, though. Maybe I can afford leverage 3. Wouldn't mind that. Stock up on neuromods for a while. Hello, Amrace. Or Amros. Yeah, this game's pretty fucking good. Just praise Vulcan. Uh, I don't think it has a Vulcan executable, no. I know Doom does, but I think that might be the only id tech game that does right now. Oh, uh, yeah, might as well repair. Oh, Cosmic Owl, welcome back. Actually, let me, uh, let me check it out here. 100% Crash Bandicoot yesterday. Hasn't gotten any easier now as an adult. Oh, man. I don't know that, like Crash Bandicoot 1? I don't know that I'd want to do that. Uh, I don't see anything for, uh... Anything for, uh, Vulcan. It's usually, it's usually like a separate launcher. So, and I don't think it has that. Alright, yeah, leverage, that's right, that's what I was going to get. Uh, Neuromod. Actually, I probably don't have enough to, to buy it. Especially since I don't know where it is. Oh, I only need one more! Ugh. Imagine this, you're playing Prey, you're having a grand old time, you're enjoying yourself, then you hear a sound. Stephanie is at home, so what could it be? You turn around and look where the sound comes from, it's almost like a scratching sound. You inch closer and closer to the sound, slowly turning your head around each corner, it's you. It's always been you. Remember your childhood. It's scary. I did imagine that. I've been scared. All three remasters. Holy crap! Did you enjoy it though? Was it was it a fun uh, a fun experience? Crap! I need one more neuromod to get through this goddamn door, and I can't. Fuck! Well, I guess I can just go around and go through the lobby. The Talus one lobby. Man, that's frustrating. But I guess I did get the, uh, satellite, so I can go set that up. Fuck off, man. Whatever, dude. Just picked up a 1080 Ti. Do you recommend a G-Sync monitor? Not really, Daniel. Um, G-Sync... If all you do on your computer is play a video game on one monitor, G-Sync might be okay, but I'm typically always multitasking, and G-Sync gets a little weird with that. 
Um, it doesn't work very well unless a, a game is dedicated full screen, and even then, it's like sometimes you have to reboot to get it to work right. Like, I'll get a lot of weird frame flickering and stuff if I leave my computer on for a while. So, it's good, and it's noticeable when it's on, but it only... It's at the point where it only works in, like, a select few circumstances. And you, you may just be in that... You may play games in that state all the time. And if you do, then those circumstances are not a problem, but... Yeah, I'm typically, like... I typically play Borderless Windowed because I'm, like, tabbing out, checking emails and stuff. I have a video going or something like that. Twitch is behaving today. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm dropping too many frames. Although it's not... It's not ironclad, it's not bad either. Come on. The satellite's moving too, I'm trying to keep up with it. There we go. Alright. So I guess that's supposed to... Nice work. This should get the attention of that Typhon nightmare that's hunting you. I'm sending you two activation signals. Oh. The first will direct the Typhon away from you. The second will bring it down on you. Shuttle bay. Use your transcribed messaging system to fire them off. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you can actually summon the nightmare and have it fight something for you? That's an interesting proposition. Uh, where's... The lobby. You can get to the lobby from the exterior, right? Or can you? Shuttle bay, psychotronics, power plant, cargo bay, uh, Eberitum. So I have to go to the Eberitum. Okay, well, I guess I did that fucking side quest, so now I can... Now I can call or distract the, the nightmare. That'll probably be useful at some point. Is this the... Deep storage. I can't tell if this is the uh, the Arboretum or not. I don't see a dot anywhere else for it. Power plant, shuttle bay. Yeah, I'll assume it's this. Yeah, the remaster is episodic. Interesting. There's a good looking moon in the background. Wow, it really is. Damn. How is the Fracture but Holes gameplay? Well, I only played it for about an hour, but I liked it. It's It's got a little more depth to it than Stick of Truth. So you can actually move around. There's like a, a grid that you put your characters on. And then attacks can move characters, swap them around. It's basically like... It's an interesting metagame of, of arranging your characters to make them harder to hit. Or shoving... Like when, when enemy characters put down an AoE warning, you can use a limited number of moves you have to try and plan around shoving them out of the way or moving your characters out of the way. Ooh, Hard Helmet Man! Thank you for the Prime sub. Appreciate it. So there's, there's a little more going on in the combat system than there was in Stick of Truth. And it's still got like the timing aspect where you have to hit tap buttons and you get bonus damage. Okay. Gotta go to the lobby, I think. So wait. Huh. <sighs> so I need to go to hardware. Lobby to... Yeah, lobby to hardware labs. Okay. Jesus Christ. And I guess in, when I go to the lobby, I can drop off another quest. I should probably just finish this game, but I kind of like... I like picking through it. There. Alright. And the lobby is all the way around. Gotta remember to not electrocute myself. episode of the Google Trend Show in the future? Yes. I was working on that just yes, no, Friday. Yesterday was Saturday. Well, then let's do more Hitman games. They were awesome. Probably. There's not, um, it's weird. Most of our week, most of our, think about, like, the way we run the channel in terms of upload slots, or like a TV channel, you only have so many show blocks. You only have so much time to air content. A lot of our calendar now has sort of been... It's like over half. 
has sort of become content that's not necessarily obligatory, but like content that's either got sold inventory on it or is performs well enough to be a recurring show. So pretty much Monday through Friday are kind of routine programs at this point. Um, so there's not a whole lot of space for uh, other variety gameplays, which is a kind of a bummer. I think we kind of need to clear room for some of that stuff. Or just start uploading more. The problem is the more you upload, the less views each video gets. It's a net positive, but each video gets fewer views, and when videos have Attention. paid mentions Spatial in them, you sort of need to clear the way for them to get as many views as possible. There's a reason I haven't been to the hardware labs through this door yet. First, I guess I'll find out what that reason is very soon. should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Hmm. Oh, Daniel, yeah, talking about Final Fantasy. 15 felt a bit rushed in places for sure, but I think the combat design was great. I hope 7 takes uh, some elements. I, yeah, I hope the same thing. I think Square was kind of lost. Internal development was kind of lost and confused during the 360 era. I think they figured it out, though. It feels like they figured it out. Oh, it feels like they, they know how to make... They know how to make HD games now, I hope. And part of that was the process of making Final Fantasy XV. There are some parts in there that are pretty clearly dated and a little broken. Because the, they've just been kicking around for so long. That's what it feels like, anyway. Yeah. Grace, Grace is a... Uh, Brought up a good point. It's not, uh... Let's leave the, uh, overtly homophobic stuff at the door. It can... I, I can get it if, like... If the very pretty cast of Final Fantasy XV rubbed you the wrong way, but... There's no reason to hate on people just because they're beautiful. And, uh, it's just a different kind of style, you know? It's fantasy, right? So... If you can make up the rules, why wouldn't dudes wear cool-ass suits while they're fighting uh, magical monsters? Oh boy. Oh, there he is. And he's shooting at me. Alright. I wonder if he can hit me back here. Gladio's combat was so good. I'm super excited for episode Ignis. Ooh! Hold on a minute. One of the bat nipples. Subscribe for 12 months. Oh, uh, you weren't aware that Fruity was homophobic? Uh, it's got a bad connotation. But, yeah, it, it can be tough, too, because... It's tough to, uh... You never know all the subtleties of something, especially if, like... In your area, where you use a particular word, may not have the same... Same meaning. episode RNA when? Have they announced that? That'd be pretty cool. I wouldn't mind going back. I've got like three episodes to play now. I ha I didn't even play, uh... I didn't play Gladio. I didn't play Ignis. Nia will look gorgeous on PC? Yeah. I hope so. Because she was just lightning? I guess. She was... She Even lightning was kind of comatose. Aranea was, like, oh, more fiery. Lightning just kind of sighed a lot and was very taciturn. Episode Ignis isn't out yet. Oh, sorry. What's the other three, right? Prompto, Gladio, and, um, I guess, yeah, Ignis isn't out. Never mind. Then you had a big step back in your life. Uh, what did you do to get going again? After seeing my first nephew for the first time, makes me realize how far I would be from that. Huh. I'm not sure exactly what you're asking, but as far as, like, motivation is concerned, I don't know. It's fine to not be motivated for a while. Um, it's fine to be sad for a while. Yeah, you do eventually have to get to a better place. Um, for me, I, I did a couple of months of wallowing, I think. Oh, her actual designs were very lightning? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, mean, I, I didn't mean to, to disagree with you entirely, because I actually had the same reaction. Even when I ran into her in the game, I was like, oh, they 
they put lightning in Final Fantasy 15. But after a while, it's like, okay, at least she's like, she's more active. She says more things. She's not. She just doesn't stare at everyone quietly, most of the most of the time. Well, we got a year to celebrate. One of the bat nipples. We don't know which one, but one of them has been subscribed for an entire year. So I'm gonna play this song to celebrate. Thank you, bat nip. Yeah, you guys, or rather, Ratatek brought up a good point. <laughs> the dog is more virile than Luna. Yeah, Luna's nothing, man. She just kind of sits there and, and sighs. The problem is, the developers in the story imply that she actually does quite a bit, or that her character is a lot more complex than just being a, uh, a damsel, because that's essentially what she is in the game, or that's all you see. But if, like, if you read, a, you have to read a lot into it, but there's actually a lot going on there. And, and again, that's actually kind of a... Oh, that's right, the nightmares there. I mean, that's just... I just summarized Final Fantasy XV. All of it. Not just the parts involving Aranea. Or, sorry, Luna. I really didn't buy this whole unrequited love stuff, either. Because I never saw a scene of them together where they had that love, you know? It's like Princess Bride operates on that idea of, like, true love, love at first sight. These people are destined to be together. Therefore, it's very tragic they're not. But, Princess Bride also sold it really well in the beginning, I thought. Fifteen never had that. It just had them, like, playing together as kids, and there was, like, no chemistry, no nothing, so why why are we supposed to buy into this romance? Ah, yeah. I don't know. Grace is probably fuming at me right now. I'm mashing open a tab to a wiki. I do love... I One thing I do love, and I treasure, one of the greatest experiences in streaming, is to be stupid about something and have your audience correct you. Noctis loved her, but she could never love him. In my eyes, she sent him off to die for the greater good. See, that would be pretty cool. Huh. Honestly, Luna had more chemistry with Nyx and Kingsglaive than with Noct. Yeah! Actually, I got really confused. Also, Subscorpion at MK. Your name is great. But Daniel Cusco just subscribed, so I'm going to throw a song to him. Or her. I'm assuming Daniel. Yeah, but... 2017, we can't think these things. This one looks good. This one looks real good. Just no baby talk tonight? Yeah, Call it. Call is uh, making out with a a picture of a. Uh, uh, lost his name. Overwatch guy? How, how am I dropping his name right now? Anyway. Jeff Kaplan, there we go. He uh, cut out a cut out a mouth in his in his practicing. Hope she buys a ticket to BlizzCon. Just like carries around a framed picture of Jeff Kaplan with her. Anyway, <laughs> what's up, Mark? 
uh, a lot of weird meme photos with John Catherine. Yeah, he's he's become a meme lord. I don't. He does. He's aware of it and feeds it a little bit. Oh, is it getting? Hmm. Well, yeah. Young young love is supposed to be passionate. Anyway. Uh, oh, like, which one? Daniel, thank you for the money. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna play you this jam. Please enjoy it. Selfish Antagonist, happy birthday. Since you've been up for 35 hours for a 24-hour programming competition. Well, yes, you've earned the right to chill out. And I hope you do. I'm so angry. I'm just going to chill out here for two minutes. Um, how'd it go? Did you did you enjoy the competition? What was the what was the theme of the task you were given? I guess I'll reload all my shit. I really love Final Fantasy XV. I do agree that it could have been better, but honestly, we would never have had it if Nomura was still in charge. That I agree with, Grace. I'm, I'm glad that they brought in a closer and got that game out. Yeah, it's about it did the best with the content and timeline he was given. No, and it, it's funny too because you can almost feel the tug of war, the like Nomura writing style of not giving the audience really anything to go on, um, having a lot, having a lot going on but not telling anyone. That's just kind of his thing. He gets a, I know that I know that Eastern audiences tend to resonate with that, but boy, is it annoying. Um, hold on a minute. Ratmaid said, "File this under things, <laughs> under things I'm not proud of." You did the right thing. You did the right thing. You you helped out a friend, a friend who was in need. You can tell which bits were Nomura and what parts were Tabata, which bothers me personally. I, yeah, I found it pretty fascinating, though. The fuck was that? You stomping around over there? It, it was interesting how, um, yeah, how identifiable the, the, different, the different feels were. I wouldn't have minded playing the Nomura game if it came out six years ago. Um, and I'm really glad I got to play the Tabata game that came out in 2017. Did you and the Fun After ever consider doing something collab with Easy Allies? I think y'all would be very entertaining together. Ah, uh, maybe. I think they all got a lot, a, lot, a lot of their own stuff going on, but there's no reason to not reach out. Angry dog. Well, angry nightmare dog. They were just throwing computer science problems at us every hour. So you basically had to write a program that solves them for different kinds of input. Oh, so it's just testing your agility. That's interesting. Well, that may be a little too narrow. Oh, good enough. Have I been in this area before? I have. Okay. I think Battlefront 2 will have longevity after the hype goes away. I don't know that anyone can predict that with certainty. Whether or not a game... Oh, fuck. 
Whether or not a game retains an active player base almost seems like it's... I don't want to call it like pure chance, but it seems pretty... So it's like a shield or something? Oh, okay, so yeah, you do have to pop that shield and then you can hit him with magic. I was always really frustrated that the first... Oh, fuck, why is it so dark in here now? Ah! Jesus. Leave me alone. Jeez. Jeez. And my damn suit's broken again. I don't have a whole lot of these left. I find I find watch Let's Plays of Battlefront Destiny and Overwatch really dull. I don't know why. Because they're not very exciting games. Um, rather, I guess purely for Destiny. I don't know. I've, I've, I've enjoyed some Overwatch stuff. I feel like Battlefront should be, should be fun. I don't know. For Destiny, though, it is a slower moving game. And it is a game that is pretty much just a treadmill of rewards. So, I don't... It wouldn't seem to me that there's a whole lot of... A whole lot of interest in seeing somebody else play that. It's like watching somebody else play a slot machine. You get all that excited for them when they when they win. They get that random loot. Am I going to be doing a South Park Fracture but whole series? You mean am I am I going to be playing it on my stream? Probably. I don't know that I call that a series though. Well, there's that door I couldn't force open. All right. Oh. How do you get up to the next floor? Oh, I'm on. I'm on it. That is the... Huh? This is where I need to go. What? That's the only way in there? Okay. Uh, maybe I can go... Hmm. Maybe I can climb up from underneath? I hope. Heard a lot of positive things about Destiny 2. Giving it a chance on PC seems like they made it a bit more interesting. Yeah. It's it's a beautiful game. And I think that'll be even more on display with Destiny 2. I think it's absolutely... It, I think it's worth playing for the visuals alone. And there aren't a whole lot of games that I would, I would say that about. Oh, you got to the Demix fight. I don't know if I've gotten there yet. Is that the one that is in Tron Land? Nope. Oh, maybe. This is the sort of thing where I have to be able to turn myself into something. Maybe I have to maybe I can buy that skill right now. I'm tired of like crawling all around this uh morph. Okay, sure, yes. I will buy that ability, and I will take the form of whatever the hell this thing is. Oops. There. Roll on. What? There. Ah. Uh, shit. Okay, okay, I got in. I'm in. Assholes. What? Hey! Lane Carpenter, chill out. What's up? You got it? Yes. Let's see, I also. You got distracted by everything on the internet, so. <laughs> I also added this on the bottom. Oh, okay, yeah. So let's, let's hope that they're okay with that, because then they were like, I want to use your gamer tag. And I was like, shut up. Really? Yeah. Why? Because they don't want people ordering things with lewd 
like lewd pictures on them or, or lewd sayings and then take taking it to the internet? Probably. Whatever. Too late. What's up, Great Kagri? Did you used to be called Kagri Tastin? Or if... I'm just remembering an old name. Oh. Wait. It's just like a better Q-beam gun, I think. Kingdom Hearts 1 has such a shit story, but it is so fun to play. See, I didn't mind... Uh, I didn't mind Kingdom Hearts 1 because it didn't... It did not depend on you caring about the story. But there's so much more story in Kingdom Hearts 2. That if you don't care about it... You're kind of sunk sitting through all these cutscenes and dialogue that mean nothing to you. So I'm not sure exactly what I got for that. I didn't really read that all that well. Well, whatever. I guess I got it. Hold on, let me read this again. Here we go, yeah. QB attachment for the black box military operators. Cooling system to optics. Earth side. Energized system is like targeting an object. So what does that what does that get me? Oh, that was you, okay. I just your name sounded familiar. Is there like a it didn't upgrade my gun, did it? Oh I guess I probably got manufacturing plans for the new QB. Alright. That's what I'm gonna assume. Here, maybe? A lot of radiation. Oh, I am irritated. Great. Can't test fire it? Hardcore lore fans of Kingdom Hearts scare you. I like games, but chill the fuck out. So that's that's what it that's what ends up happening, though, right? If you have a game where the story is so complicated but hidden, the only people who are going to love the story are people that are willing to invest that amount of time into researching it and finding it. Oh yeah. Evidence of their little their little murderous tussle. <laughs> Two dudes yelling at each other. My work. <sighs> yeah. Exterior is breached. I remember. Whoa shit. Ugh. No thanks. Okay, well, that was a lot of, uh... That was a lot of... A lot of button presses and a lot of... Squirk, squeaking around the station for not a whole lot of... Not a whole lot of reward, but whatever. Whatever, man. It was the journey that mattered most. I don't know if I can... Pop back over that. Am I stuck here? Oh, you can jump. Hip! <laughs> That's pretty cool. I probably should have gotten that a long time ago. I'm thinking about a lot of things that I could have done much more efficiently. Oh well. Okay. Let's do story stuff. Um, whatever. Let's do Doll without killing him. Maybe I can... So, I can get to the shuttle bay through the lobby, I think. Ugh. What's up? It's still so pretty. What is that? It's the Patron oh. Del Toro right. special edition. It has candles! It's a... F it, look, it's an altar. It's a tequila altar. Ugh. That tequila you got was really good. Ugh. Oh, the, the grapefruit? That yeah. is basically gone already. <laughs> they yeah, have? I might get some more of it in a minute here. You want to make your drink? Yes. That would be fantastic. What movies did you have to watch lately for the next episode of Filmhouse? Uh, we have another s bad scary movie all queued up, but I don't remember which one it was.
think it's like, oh yeah, Killer Clowns from Outer Space might be it. What the fuck, Subscorpion? That's some interesting copy pasta you got there. Let's see. Oh yeah, I gotta gotta meet Dr. Igwe in the lobby. Are they in my office? Is that where they're hiding? Yeah, Dr. Igwe in the lobby. I think I remember where that is. It's like over here, right? I always hear him talking, chit chatting, chatty Cathy's. Uh oh, oh shit. Oh fuck. No, that's bad, I'm dead. Whoo! Well, that was dumb. I thought I could make that jump. Ah, oh, well. Retreat if we want to chop off your dick and move to Antarctica. You can, you can just move to Antarctica. You don't have to chop your dick off, too. I mean, I guess you can... I don't want to dick chop shame anybody if they really want to cut their own dick off. about this. What if I hate men so much I want it off? Well, then I guess you have respected women the most. Imagine respecting women so much you cut your own dick off. Thank you. It's a strange feeling. I hold Lightner's gift to the world. <laughs> the jiggle guns? Yeah, it does kind of wiggle, doesn't it? He will <laughs> live on. <laughs> I wish my wife could have heard him play again. That was brave of you, to recover the connectomes for me. I... I appreciate it. I appreciate all you and Transtar have done for me. I did that side quest for appreciation? Morgan. You've been trapped in a simulation for three weeks. Weak shit, homie. Normally the tests are only a few days long. That's some weak shit, bro. Wesley Snipes. Not all black men are Wesley Snipes. Just most black men are Wesley Snipes. Okay, I need to make some EMP batteries because I don't think I'm going to be able to incapacitate this gentleman without that. Strapper batteries. So, if you, could, if you could move, that'd be... I did see I could buy... Stop shoving me out of the way. No, I need to make batteries. When are they gonna make a doc called Imagine, seeing the world through Larry's eyes? <clears throat> you said Lawrence, but I feel like if you're in a documentary, your name should be Larry. I guess mine specifically. But yes, someday, someday I'll show the world how it really looks through my eyes. Best Wesley Snipes movie? I'm gonna say Demolition Man. Oof. I mean, you can't really beat Blade, can you? Virtue. No, that wasn't. Yeah, he was really good in Demolition Man. He was in a movie with Dean King called Future Sport. It was really bad. I mean, like, good bad, though. Shuttle Bay. What's four? Arboretum. Alright, Shuttle Bay it is. We're doing it, guys. After playing for an hour and a half, I'm gonna do a story mission. Why is the key? Oh, I don't like this. I only got one of them. Straight on till morning from here. This is like, this is the, probably the entrance they expect me to go through. Which is probably a good thing, it means I won't, won't miss. It's locked. Oh, okay. What do you think of Shadow, Shadow of War so far? It seems well made. Um, I, I only played it for like an hour. Um, 
The intro, the story of the intro kind of threw me off a little bit. I don't want to spoil anything, but it seems like they had to sh fudge some things just to get the game going. And cram in some cameos. I'm like, I don't know if I'm buying this. I don't know if I'm buying this. Oh boy. Yeah, a lot of turrets and shit. Alright. So, uh... So yeah, I'm still kind of... I haven't made up my mind about it. Also, like... Operator deployment resuming. Oh boy, yeah, already deploying. Fuck. Um, and in full disclosure and all that, I actually got a code from WB for it, so that's pretty cool. So like, I'm not even coming from the position of somebody that sunk some money into it. Um, take that as you will. I know, it makes me sound spoiled as hell. But... Mostly, mostly I'm like, I just played a lot of open, open world 3D action RPG games. Like a lot of them. Pretty much all the big ones. And I just may be done with that genre for a while. Because they're all pretty similar. It's, uh, it's Batman, you know. It's Batman, Lord of the Rings. And that's a cool combination, don't get me wrong. Coolest thing in the world, but... I've played it a lot. I played Arkham Knight a lot, and I still didn't even 100% it. Oh, actually, one second, guys. I gotta, gotta use the bathroom. If you could be promoted to mod, that would be great. Well, you can ensure one way that won't happen by asking for it. Also, this is your first time in chat? I guess you're joking. If you're joking, that's pretty funny. Uh, Mad Wookie, first time catching my stream from the UK. Well, thanks for dropping in. Also, Resonator, hope you have a good night. Thanks for, uh, Hope you have a good good drinks with folks. That's one thing I, I would like to do someday, but my parents don't drink. But I think it'd be fun. They don't. Uh, it'd be fun to get them to open up so I could ask it's them RPX. real honest questions about me as a child. I think that'd be interesting. But alright, I gotta use the bathroom, get some water, get some, get some tequila in me. So I'll see you guys in a minute. My Kellogg's Corn Pops, my keys, they're locked in. Stay calm. Smooth move. Maybe we could call for help. Yeah, sure. Help! I want my corn pops. Oh, like sweet popcorn. I could be having them now. But thanks to the little <laughs> dweeb bet, I'm locked out. My pops are locked in. And what am I gonna do? I was gonna do that. Kellogg's Corn Pop cereal is part of this complete breakfast. I gotta have my pops. Tonight, for a howling good time, join the original party animal, Michael J. Fox, in a movie the whole family will love. Don't miss Teen Wolf on the ABC Family Movie. Hide your socks, kids. Mr. Bumpy and the rest of the gang are coming up next on Bump in the Night. This is ABC. It's time to apply what you've learned. This is where it's going down. The first ever four on four live competition of Perfect Dark Zero. Team one. Team two. Let the games begin. He's out, he's out. He's out Ladies and gentlemen, a direct hit. Your sister Amber is hunting you, she says. Oh, was that the bitch I just no. killed? Hold oh, down, hold down. D and Matt going at it, and you haven't been able to hit the death blow yet. No, not yet. He keeps running. Look at him. You know how we do tattoos, tattoos. All right, I challenge you to a dance-off. Oh, my God, what? <laughs> the referee has just signaled the two-minute warning. When the clock sounds, we will know the winner. I don't know. Too close to call right now. Three, two, one. That is it. My team won. The winners of the first ever Perfect Dark Zero four-on-four -four battle, team one. I have my girl here protecting me. That's what a team is about. Oh, yeah. Fine. Omarion 
is the better dancer. Fine. Is that what you want me to say? Master win. Team yeah. Okay. Matt, they are bragging over here that they defeated one of the top gamers in the world. How do you respond to that? They only won by one point. We're the better team. But in the end, they still won. Right, they won that game, but it's not over yet. Which would make them the better team. No, no. I think we can all agree on one thing tonight. Xbox 360 is going to be amazing. And I look forward to meeting with all of you in the Xbox 360 universe. I'm Elijah Wood. Thanks for coming. We leave you with the killers. Oh, I know you guys were super into the killers. My bad. Also, holy shit. Maybe I should make it so it's like every time I stream is a different transition effect. What's my internet speed? Hello, I don't know you. That that is your that is your name. So I'm not being rude. Um, but that's a hard question to answer because I have like the rating that it's supposed to be. And I don't think that's anywhere near what it works. It's weird. I think there's... It feels like... And I've speculated about this before. But it feels like there's a like a router or a piece of... A piece of relaying internet hardware somewhere. Somewhere uh, in my building or in my area that cannot support the amount of data that's trying to go through it. So it's a bottleneck, but it's a weird bottleneck. Whenever we do a lot of... Uh, or whenever I do, like, a heavy download. Uh, I find that DNS lookups stop working. I don't think it's that I'm being throttled. It doesn't feel like that. It just feels like there's a piece of hardware that's, that can't handle the bandwidth that's trying to go through it. Um, specifically to my IP or whatever. So, um, yeah. Next stream on Tuesday? Yep, Subscorpion. Yes, sir. Theoretically. Things can get in the way of that. There's like wor work stuff can go long, or social events can spring up out of nowhere. But yeah, I'm lately I've been I like to think I've been pretty pretty accurate to my schedule. Go through, cut through your suit so quickly. Are the cables still DSL? I have no idea. It is a. Uh, it's not. It's not cable into my apartment. It's a network drop into my apartment. So whatever, whatever that. I don't. I have no idea what the network network looks like or behaves like outside of my of, of this room. Um. There's things I could probably do to poke around, but I... That stuff can get you in trouble. Um, it, whew, thank you, stuff. Damn. Through so many of these. Hey, Desi. Welcome back. Zombie still at a con? Oh, at RTX or a different con? When I first joined, I thought this was a Bioshock mod. Ooh, boom! Hmm. Damn, that's pretty good. Thank you, Steph. Well done. Ah. <sighs> I mean, I I honestly consider it a it is a better version of Bioshock. The gameplay is actually kind of similar in that you have these arenas of enemies that are in different factions and can interact with each other. It's a it's an open environment that you can. I ate all my food, huh? Wait, I just. Oh, okay, that's that's alcohols. Oh, I guess I didn't de-equip that, or I did de-equip it. I've been so habitual eating food, I finally burned through all of it. How do I? I have to like pop the door open from the outside. Maybe there's a button. That I haven't hit. Yeah, they just keep manufacturing fucking operators. God, I hate these things so much. See, it's getting to like critical mass of of uh, enemy annoyance. 
We have regenerating enemies that have lasers that, like, cut through your suit. And I think that's a pretty good indication that it's getting near the end of the game. How the fuck do you... Hmm. Mikey Ramones at this con, and I didn't realize it. I was carpooling with him back to the hotel last night. Nice. That's pretty cool. Fuck. John, you just sneezed so hard you farted. As long as it was clean. Sometimes you don't get lucky. Ugh. Okay. Man, what the fuck? Alright, let me see if I can just pop open the door. I don't think they'll let me. Nope. Is there a button I gotta hit or something? Oh, there's a... Fuck. I saw it. Ow! shouldn't walk on the shuttle. Those tiles are very fragile. You have no clue what I'm trying to accomplish? I was trying to pop this thing open. So, there's a... Alright. Um, I don't know if you want a rundown of what's going on in this game and why I'm trying to crack into this... crack this thing open like an egg. Haha! -ha. There we go. Alright, motherfucker. I'm gonna stun your ass so hard. If he's still in here, which he may not be. Good news is, found some more food. Alex Joker, missed you at RTX. Finally got to see Adam and Bruce. Hopefully, hope you'll be there next time. I do too. Travel is real fun. But, uh, all I can figure is that, you know, <laughs> flying people to other countries is very expensive. So, I guess they couldn't, couldn't find the money for it. Mission parameters. Commander Dahl, this is William Yu, acting chairman of the Trans Star Board of Directors. Oh, hey, it's that you guy. your credentials to authorize this mission. Of course. My authentication sign is Zeta Invictus Emperor Tangerine. Sign checks out. Good morning, Director Yu. Shuttle is hot and holding orbit. Awaiting mission parameters. You must secure every piece of cobalt clearance level technology and research aboard Talos 1. Then eliminate all Transtar personnel. All personnel? No survivors. It's your show. And their funeral. Payment will be deposited into six separate Benelux accounts. After you transmit evidence of success. I leave my operator feeds on. Just keep watching. We strongly advise deploying your technical officer to a station router inside the firewalls first. Ideal site would be in the Neuromod division. Neuromod. Yes, I've seen the schematics, right. Mr. Yu. Goodbye. You will destroy this transmission after. He didn't destroy it. Okay. Somewhere within Neuromod division. I think I was there. Fuck. Alright. Smashing over drinks and everything. Alright. What's down here? Level two. Oh, just to the lobby. Okay. Maybe I can just blaze on down there. Hey, Ethan. Uh, will Adam and Bruce be back in time for this week's recording of comments video? I think we already recorded it, so yes. Uh, but they're going to be gone. They might be gone for the next one. God damn it. Alright, fuck it. Let's just, let's just do it. Door doesn't open. No keys found. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I just wanted to get through this room without t terrible, terrible complications, but I guess I could go to the exterior. Fuck it. What's up, Oakley Boombox? More like, hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, it is more like that. <sighs> Shit. Um. Oh, well, here, let me, let me see if I can just go back up and around the space shuttle. Stop it. Is he just following me, lasering me? God. 
military operators just never fucking stop. Oh boy. Nope. That's right, I dropped down there. Shut up! God damn. Alright. <sighs> okay, I did it. Fuck it, let's get out of here. Assholes. All of them. Ever heard of the game Zero Time Dilemma? Yes! Um, I have 999. It's been in my th it's been in my 3DS for a very long time. I haven't played through it yet. Girlfriend is a big fan. Okay. I will not acknowledge the rest of that statement because it wasn't there. Thank you, John's life's girlfriend. I'm told my ops are hidden as an HR expense in the Transtar books. It's true. I do solve people problems. <laughs> Your workmates hiding in the cargo bay are going to suffocate in a few minutes. Oh. Maybe you can save them, but you'll have to come out of the walls, rat. Life support. The clock is ticking. That's pretty cool. Morgan, Dal's cut off oxygen to the cargo bay. There's nothing I can do from here, and none of the doors are responding. Atmosphere controls are in life support. If you can help, do it quick. Or this is the last time we'll be talking. Oh, man. I love... Some moments like that to make you alarmed. choose. Though her assessment is mistaken, Dahl is manipulating the oxygen and nitrogen mixture. With nitrogen flooding into the atmosphere, anyone in the cargo bay will asphyxiate far more quickly than had he simply cut the oxygen. Hmm. I suspect they'd already be dead if Dahl weren't trying to use them to manipulate you. Um, how did you develop your funhouse persona? And were you worried people wouldn't like it? I mean, people didn't like it when I wasn't good at when I was worse at, at affecting a persona. So I think people's not liking it was just more a reflection of me being bad at it. Um. <laughs> uh, so it wasn't really... I didn't approach it from the perspective of, like, here is this idea that I have, and maybe it'll be risky and maybe it'll work. It was me just, like, being like, I think this will be funny. But it takes a while to... Wait, this is Nerm this is Neuromod. I guess I'll just run towards this thing and see what happens. It takes a while to develop a sense of what you look like or how something will be perceived on camera. Um, because you think you know what you look like or you sound like, you think you know what your behavior your behavior is, your mannerisms are, you think you know how you are perceived. Do you ever not know any of those things? Damn it. There's a turret. Do you ever not know any of those things until you, uh... Still shooting at my dead corpse. Until you're in front of the internet. Because they'll perceive and say all, these, all this stuff, and it's your job, to, or it becomes your job, to sort of parse that and understand... Even if they're not saying this is exactly what you're doing wrong, you have to kind of figure it out based on the reactions you see. Well, that's kind of cool. Huh. I actually like this one a lot. Okay. really stupid of me. I refuse to accept you have a persona on Funhouse. It's all real. Well, a lot of what I do on Funhouse is informed by real thoughts, real emotions. But is it is in no way how I would act in polite company. If that makes sense. So, there's a part of it that's real, but to the extent that you can, like, Put yourself in another mode of thinking or be a different person for a little while. The I the whole idea of a persona. I'm I'm a pretty firm believer that 
even though some people... It, it is rare that someone can 100% be themselves in front of a camera and have that be interesting or entertaining. Damn it. Basically trial and error, pushing things and seeing if you get a positive response. Sort of. Not necessarily a positive response. At some point, it's a response. Last thing you want to do is bore people. Um, you can annoy them as long as you do it in the right way and you have people around you that will understand and capitalize on that properly. I can just run around this way. Shit, man! These motherfuckers are everywhere! Now I'm shocking myself. This is a metal grating. You see what you're doing to me? Waiting in my fucking my apartment. Ugh. Oh, it's Commander Dahl, this is Casper. Morgan, you sighted. Oh, you need hacking for? I want to hack Casper. are working again, Morgan. Nice work. Oh. I'm taking what's left of my crew to the atmosphere controls and life support. We're going to clear out Dal's shit can operators and make sure there are no more mishaps with the air on this station. You can't do that, though. They just keep regenerating. Because they're really fucking annoying. Stout populated his entire crew with customized operators. He made the mistake of hanging his hopes in the machine. Flesh and blood is messy, Morgan, but it's the only thing that matters in the end. Are they still chasing me? The upload just kicked in. Meet me in the operator. We have important work to do. Man. Oh, God. So, I guess I should go to life support? I didn't know the doll was hiding there. I thought he was making a trap for me, but I didn't know he'd be waiting. I should go check that out, huh? Probably. Wait, is Lawrence the Gila Funhouse? I always thought that was going to be Elise. I was. I think I'm kind of moving on from that. Who would Funhouse is most real? I guess it doesn't have a persona? Yeah, peak. Um. Adam can turn some things up. Uh, he he also like. Oh, he's he's just really funny. Fuck me! Fuck you, dude! Go away! Smash you with this fucking wrench! There! Look at what you made me do! Quote over here. All heels become face. All good heels become face. Yeah, I've I've heard I've heard that. I don't know though. Um, it's it's weird. <sighs> playing playing heel is easy. Playing good heel is hard. And the gulf between the two is actually really wide. Um, and I'm not that has no commentary on how I appraise myself because I don't think I'm very good at any of this. I think uh, I think it's a lot of fortune luck and, and a little bit of hard work and observation. Uh, but yeah, I think it's not hard to act out and get attention. Kids do that. That's in fact the first thing you learn is to break the rules so that people pay attention to you. And I think I think uh, when it comes to like online content, there's so much noise that it's easy to be angry and yell. Like, it's easy to be that character first. And I think that's where a lot of... That's where a lot of streamers and stuff get their personas from. The irate gamer, the angry gamer, the annoyed gamer, the angry gamer. It's all, it's all that. And I'm not, again, not even specifically calling out any of them, but there's a reason the trend popped up. Uh, and I think it's because it's a lot of people who don't or didn't have a lot of experience in entertainment 
figuring out a thing that works. And that thing is uh, being a heal. That's what I did. Dr. Disrespect is a genius. Yes, yeah, so, you know, that's like the good version of it. Why is it going up to the Arboretum? Did, did he de deactivate the lift? What's going on here? Internet is fickle lately, so it's gone for a while. What are we talking about? Oh, just uh, camera personas. Um, basically me trying to deflect any anything remotely approaching a compliment for what I do on camera. Can't pay attention to about four plus people at once. Don't play healer. Kindly attention. a healer. Station leadership has issued. Morgan, it's Dahl. He's in, in the operator. Hurry. Immediately. Fuck. And await further instructions. Okay, well, he went there. Okay, he was on the elevator. That's kind of cool. Uh, I play healer. Which, uh, Rain, which, uh, which game are you talking about? I wanted, uh,. Oh, that's... That's the sound from the satellite? Damn. I tried to compliment Lawrence on the last stream, and I got a, watched and got a 20-minute lecture on the meaning of talent. Yeah. I don't know. I, I consider it a defense mechanism. The moment I start thinking that I'm, like, good at what I do is when I stop trying, and that's when somebody else who wants it more than I do will get it. This seems like it's kind of... game-ending stuff here. <laughs> Welcome to AOL. That's pretty perfect. Yeah, no compliments for me. Um, I will ban you. This is not a place of, of positive self-image. Such a fine line to walk, you know? I never, uh... I never figured out that dance, I don't think. Morgan, Dahl is breathing down my neck. I don't know how much longer. Shit. I have two minutes. Well, let's see if we can just sprint it. Hopefully all these fuckers are too busy killing each other to worry about me. Shit. Never fix that thing. God damn it. Ah. Operators. Operators everywhere. Boss persona look like the wizard from Ruiner. Man, I don't know. I'd have to think about that for a while. Cause it, it, it would have to be pretty fucked up. At least it better be. Watch out! Watch out! Morgan, you did it. I'll arrange transport with the medical operator. Then we can see about removing his neuromod, and hopefully Whew. gaining a shuttle in the process. You never cease to impress me, Morgan. I'm coming out now. Well, I got the keys to his cargo hold. Interesting. You're only playing Prey so you can fulfill your Asian role-playing fantasies. Also, self-deprecation is something I do quite a bit as well for similar reasons. Yeah. I don't know. Hold on. Cookie Cutter's pasting image link, so I gotta click on it. Yeah, it's true, though. Um, cookie cutter, you've, you've locked onto something. You can think it's, like, charming and cute. Uh, but think about whenever you know someone who does that, and just how, like, how it makes you feel. It's not a good thing to do in front of people. You can always have it swirling in your mind. It keeps you sharp. But, that's what I tell myself. I don't know. It's weird, because I feel like it's not something I can really experiment with. Because if I'm wrong... Then what happens? Like, I, I get too complacent, I get too full of myself, I stop trying, I lose all the things that this method of thinking and this method of living has got, gotten to for me. Why is... oh, okay, I can talk to him through this, I guess. Ah. 
Morgan. We're in life support now. I really wanted to hear the it's rest all clear. of that. Okay. Air's normal across the board. I, through my arm and I lost some good people oh, fighting the black boxes. And Dal wasn't and here. If one. you see him That's before I do, make him I don't pay. Think do it. I Lazar out. Because I used to think we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me. You showed me anything was possible, even if the price was steep. That part of you is still in there. We can make history, Morgan. Not those leeches on the Transtar board of directors, not mom and dad. You and I. Just like we planned. We've got the data to confirm what you suspected. And Carl is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message? And who is listening to it? I think you know. Ever since we first tested the Typhon Neuromods, you've known. This fabrication plan is for the no-wave device prototype you can see. It will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Take it. And the army key, like I pro- What? Morgan! What? Oh. Oh dear. Whoa, shit. Um. What the fuck? What? You need to get down to the nearest clinic. Once that's done, I'll arrange transport with the medical operator. What? I have one hit point. I can't tell how intentional that is. Taking all your shit, bro. Cherished family photo. <sighs> Alright. What? I gotta save him too? Damn it. Alex. Get to Alex before he dies. Ah. Okay. What do I need to. What? Put him back in the safe room, I guess? For you in here. There we go. Put Alex in a safe room. You got it. See you later, bro. You got this. Well, actually, hold on. Let me see what he's got down here. Got some noodles, some jelly eels. Good, good, good. <laughs> this is wild, man. I, I honestly didn't expect. Mine's a little blown right now. That's that's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool move to totally redo an environment like that. I gotta, I gotta loot this place dry first, though. Alright, alright. Alright, Walter Doll. Take your dumbass around. Damn it, stop it. Stop! Jesus. Alright, where am I taking him? Save Doll, 26 meters. Still trying to consume the station. Yep. And I picked up multiple hull pitches. Yup. I believe in you, Morgan. Make this count. Uh-huh. Hold on, I gotta drag this unconscious man around. Yeah, I still got him, okay. I feel like I should scan this thing. Oh! Shit! Oh, what the 
fuck is going on? Ah. Uh, still alive? Still with me, buddy? Yeah, you're good. Ow. What the fuck? Out of the way. <sighs> Alright, is this where I have to go? What the shit? Stop. Close the safe room door? Oh, did I not do that? Oops. Never seen Dallas Lady found him before this overtake. Yeah, there's some cool, like, Deus Ex stuff going on. Maybe I didn't... F Oof, maybe I need to reload the save. I bet if you leave the room without the door closed, Alex might die. We don't die. And there we are! Um, that sounds bad, yeah. Oops. Oh yeah, Grape Coon. Grape Coon passed. His love was too pure for this world. That's okay, he's in the anime dimension now. Alright. Here's the problem. So wait, where do I need to take stupid... Doll? Close. There we go. Alright. Alright, there we go. Uh, alright. Uh, God damn it, stop it. Um. Oh! I guess there's a clinic on this floor. That's what I fucked that up. Creature is still trying to consume the station, and I picked up multiple hull creatures. I believe in you, Morgan. Make this count. Morgan, thank you for what you did. Oh wait, it's in you there. You could have left me to die. It's more important than ever now that we finish this the right way. Take care of the Norwife device. I'll head for the bridge as soon as I catch my breath. Oh boy, he's almost dead. Wait for further instruction. Obstruction detected. Please clear aperture of the reef. Transstar four nine zero medical class operator. Diagnosing. Looks like you had a rough day. I have. Hold on. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. All right. Maybe I should take your gun. I'm still holding it. Okay. Okay. What do you think of prey? I really, really like it. I like it a lot. Can you read Japanese? No, but I know that that's a beautiful, beautiful picture. Thanks for further instructions. Jeez. I'm getting the vibe that the, the doll stuff is like how you get the secret good ending, but we'll see. Let's little roll doll. Speaking of roll doll, I just watched The Witches for the first time, because Stephanie put it on. Alright, well you hang out there. Let me go scan the tendrils, I guess. So I guess they just touch you and it hurts. Grapecoon literally got a waifu, then died. Yeah, it's light. Love is sweet. Hello, Fortin... Fortin Bra. Nice to see you. It said wait. Does that mean, like, actually go to a different zone? I don't know. Yeah? I'll, here, I'll make a make a real safety save here. Because I don't know what's going on. And I don't know what's going to trigger what part of what quest. But I feel like I want to do this no wave device thing. Placed at the heart of the coral and psychotronics and activated from a terminal on the bridge. That sounds pretty fucking complicated. Alright. I can do that. It's not giving me a... Uh, 
Objective, I guess I just have to find a fabrication station. Fabricator. There wasn't one in this area, is there? There is. Is it down here? Eh? It's next to the entrance to the guts. Where the hell is that? I remember that being in a really weird spot. Alright, well, I'll try and find it. Wait, gravity? Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Loading bay. Okay. You hate working Sundays? Sorry you have to do that, Matt. I was certainly no fan. Where are you working? Wait, are they... Are the, is the fabricator gonna work in Zero-G? Nope. That is all fucked up. I don't want to go into the guts. There's no fabricator there. Maybe there is. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. I floated into a space tendril. Have Bruce and Adam said how RTX London was? No. Nope. They are gone. So, I haven't had a chance to talk with them about it because they're still still not out. Or still not back. Do I to a local telecom slash security company? I, uh... Well, hopefully your work then just involves kind of sitting around and watching something not break. Which, hopefully it's not breaking. What is your favorite game you wouldn't suggest to anyone? Uh... Probably Earthbound. That's my favorite game in general, but I also wouldn't suggest it to everybody. Good god, that is an evil looking piece of shit, though. Look at this guy. I'm wondering if you can scan him. No, he's just evil. God, so evil. My favorite thing is to get paid for watching status bars? Yeah. Thought your apartment was on fire, then realized it was the Overwatch in the other room? Yeah. Stephanie's getting her Overwatch in. Okay, I need a, I need a fabricator. I guess the lobby would theoretically be the easiest place to go, if I can go there. I'm pretty sure there's, there's got to be one in the lobby. And it's near Walter. Keep eyes on him, little guy. Okay, yeah, they'll let me through. That's good. This game looks like... This looks like Endgame Resident Evil 7. Yeah, they got pretty wild. Server migration, but nothing too crazy. Okay. Yeah, that is that is that can be said as far as was it like migrating like copying images of discs over? Dr. Perry, you picked your nail polish off? Is that a nervous habit? Morgan, you anticipated the kind of appeal Alex would make. Sibling bonds, history. You're right, I did do you that. You programmed me to refute him point by point. Ah. However, we can skip that. A typhon the size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos one for lunch. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Yeah. Destroy the station. Oh, damn it. Just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. Destroy the station? But didn't you hear him? The null way. Alex is correct. It could work and preserve what we have learned here. We have to try. Igwe, look at the alien outside the station. Of course it's a risk. But we've seen the generator work. To destroy all this. To murder a species. And the research. Lost. It's... You were his right, Morgan. We can't let these things get back to Earth, even if one of them hit their side. Morgan, please. Destroying the station should be the last option, not the first. Oh, man. Dr. It is Hugh, fucked Dr. up in here now. We have this subject, Dal, and his life signs are stable. Oh. Thank you. We are prepping him in the Neuromod division now. Come as soon as you can. Go to Neuromod. Alright, uh, uh... Too Fat to 69 says, I swear I tuned in like last month and you were playing Prey. Have you been playing this for a long time? No, actually. If you saw me last month, that was probably the last time I played it. I'm pretty flighty when it comes to the games I play. I took a... I'll take breaks to play other things real quick. I just... I wrapped up South Park uh, Stick of Truth because I wanted to get through it before Fracture of the Hole came out. Also, Pit Cuphead kind of took me over for a bit there. So... I've just been chipping away at it. Are you and Funos going to do, do anything with Final Fantasy XV multiplayer? It's an interesting question. Maybe I can get the guys to play it. It'd require a lot of PlayStation 4s, though. I don't know that we have enough. Odds are low, is what I would say. 
thought Neuromod was right over here. Oh, wrong floor. There. There we go. Back to Neuromod. Cuphead is so cute. Cuphead is wonderful. Yeah, Rachel Salmons. I was gonna... I'm debating trying to S-rank everything. Have you completed Cuphead? Yes, actually. I beat the devil. <laughs> beat the devil a few nights ago, last week. And then, uh, did some, like, cleanup. Got some of the coins I missed. One of the coins I missed. You wanna fuck the flower? No. I wanna fuck the mermaid. If the idea hasn't occurred to you, flower? I'm sure... I think, I think it is pretty cool that you have to choose between what appears to be the ethical choice. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the apex, but all my models point to suffering. <laughs> and the advice of your previous self that swore to yourself under no uncertain terms should you do this thing. And you're like, but I think I want to do the thing. And you yourself are saying, don't do it. You made me, so I tell you not to do it. So maybe you shouldn't do it. How much do you trust yourself? Who wouldn't fuck Mr. Dice? I mean, that's different. Alright, let's do this thing. I wondered what this... what this was going to be Dr. used for. Morgan. I remember getting to this room oh, and thinking, this has been it. too developed to not be used for something. The so there's Neuromods in there. Doll has been secured. I believe I've isolated the correct Neuromod. It is essential we say as little as possible of what has happened on the station and focus on the situation. Dahl, memory serves, should resort to field training and react accordingly. He was never one to question orders. Any when you are, Morgan. Oh, Decaforce, thank Remember, you. If this works, say nothing. Thanks for the Twitch Prime, sir. Let's suck those Neuromods up! When extracted, Dal's memory should revert back to the inception date. And he should forget his oh. assignment here. Doctor Yu? Alright. Ready when you are. Hold on, let me scan him first. Let me see what's in that noggin of his. Connect all must be data with a recent neural scan and perform successful adaptive regressive neuteronomy. Oh, so you can you can you can chop up his brain without scanning him, and then it probably if you're worried about mangles him up. The protocols, you have my word. What? Who are you, Morgan? Your father's been asking about you. And Alex. I was supposed to report to him about her retrieval after modding up. Where am I? Why am I restrained? Commander. Dog. I am Dr. Igwe. Chief physician here. You've... I've seen your face in the company directory. Alex's Ed. The discredited parapsychologist. Ah. Commander Dahl, you've suffered a severe head injury as a result of a crisis here on the station. We need to evacuate at once. But we... we couldn't leave without you. Are you able to pilot a shuttle? What? Yes, of course I can pilot a... Wait, what emergency? Is this Argus installation? Where's Casper? I'm afraid there's no time to explain. We need to get to the shuttle bay and prepare for departure. Transtar mandate. Doctor, you can confirm. Of course. Morgan, you look like shit. All right, let's get Daddy's precious child off the station. Or Transtar will black box me. Yeah, Steve Blum, Steve Blum. Just need to check your vitals. Wouldn't want our pilot to faint. There's nothing wrong with me. We'll meet you there, Morgan. Okay. Did you get any backlash from the Texas Dragon figure lady? No. I mean, I didn't know them. And I'm pretty sure they didn't know me. It's by design that I can predict what you're going to do fairly often. And yet, this turn of events with Dahl, I'm impressed and surprised you've managed to find a way to get remaining crew off the station. I have no doubt they'll remember your sacrifice. 
Yeah, call. That's an interesting question. Do you think back when Steamboat Willie was on TV, someone thought, I'm gonna fuck that mouse? Yeah. Yes, I do think that that happened. Most definitely, probably. <sighs> Let's see here. So yeah, fabrication. Uh, there's gotta be one on this floor somewhere. It is purple, and it is right in front of me. So, alright. There's something in that chamber to take? Yes! Too fat to 69. Thank you for the... For reminding me there were neuromods in that chamber. And it would be tragic if I forgot them. But I'm, I feel like I'm also at the end of the game. I could be wrong, but... I think at this point upgrades probably don't matter much anymore. So yeah, we'll see. Don't fuck rocks. Somebody's fucked a rock. You know they have. You can say to not do it, but you know they've done it. And it was probably better than you think. Like a good mossy rock. With just the right... That stuff blows my mind, like how many how many people have been alive, for how long, and how many remote places of the world. How many weird things have they found to fuck? And they just do it every day. And they don't tell anyone, and no one questions it, because they're just off on their own. With their rocks. Fucking their rocks every day. It's like, well, it's better than nothing. I got these rocks. Shit. Well, I guess I gotta find a, uh... Hold on. Oh, yeah. Cave painting porno. Do you think during Caveman Days they had a Mickey Mouse, a cartoon that was just... That was... That just was cool? Probably. I think it may have happened at a level that would be hard for us to understand. We're recycling the next room. Okay. Like, it may have just been grunts and furious masturbation. But I guess that it's not really much more than that now. Alright, hopefully I get enough stuff. Why did I come back to fucking rocks? Because you had to come back to fucking something, okay? That's why, because <laughs> we're all rock fuckers. Also good. Although I... Surely... First ever cartoon porn. Let me click on that. I'll be the judge of that. 1929. Alright, here we go. Prototype, no wave transmitter. Bloop. This chat is hell. The heart of That's the, the brakes. is in psychotronics, in the original containment cylinder. Placing the no wave device there will override the entire coral network with our own signal. The heart of the coral. I must use the heart of the cards. Can masturbation give one carpal tunnel? I'm pretty sure it can. Which is an interesting, uh... An interesting goal. Did you the animals fucking? I haven't watched it yet, but what, seeing your guys' reaction is pretty interesting. But surely... Surely before all this, for, for ladies of wealth and leisure... Were there, like, marble... polished marble dildos? You know, like, you put it in, like, a bucket of warm water, just so it's not cold. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like that shit had to happen. Had to have happened. I pulled out a clock and his dick fell off. I think we've all been there. We've all been there, huh? 
He kisses his own penis. Well, we've all tried to be there. It's getting quite late. Enjoyed the stream quite a bit, and I'm glad I'm subscribed. Good night, Lawrence. Good night, chat. Thank you, Dark. Thank you for coming in, man. Hope you have a nice rest. Finally crafted well-shaped marble cocks. Two ninety-nine, maybe. I imagine you'd have to be like a, a stonemason, and somebody'd have to approach you. You'd have to be a master craftsman, I think. Okay, so it's just somewhere. I gotta go up the floor. This area's weird. And also just laced out with bad guys, apparently. No, that's not gonna work. Electric and stun. Wait, he's weak to electric? That seems weird. Absolutely not. have to go to work or back to work in a week and I'm not ready and really sad about it oh, I'm sorry it is a terrible feeling to have to go back to work when you're like not ready for it when you want your you, you want your vacation to last a little longer god damn I can't remember I do remember this area being really weird in regards to how you move through the floors oh yeah you gotta go all the way to the end and go up the the hyper, hyper lift. Is that even on this floor? It is. You have to go through the bathroom. Zones. First on Dildo recovery, recovered by paleontologist, dates to the Paleolithic era. Made of siltstone and polished to a high gloss. The debate rages on whether its primary purpose was for religious, ritual, or personal pleasure. Well, at least they polished it. You know? At least they did the proper thing and gave it the old spit shine. This part is uploaded, just the rock fucking. Okay. Pretty much all of it. Would you need a master craftsman, though? You would want to go down line of fantasy, not necessarily realism. I mean, maybe. So you're saying, like, ladies would want a, uh. Let's say the penis of a fantastic beast. Shit. Where'd he go? Ah. Uh, fuck. Wasted it. God damn it. Okay. Got my spell now. Killed that thing. Hello. Hello, Papa. Shit, whatever. Who cares? None of this matters. You probably didn't see me there. Scanning. No images, so you'll need your resources. I'll be great. I don't know how I got to rock fucking. I was just speculating. about the rich tapestry of the human existence and all the things that they have stuck their genitals in or around. God damn it. God damn it. Ugh. Oi. Giving up on playing video games last week because I feel like it consumed my life. However, I'm still enjoying watching you guys playing making me laugh. Love you guys so much. Yeah, okay. Good for you, man, for making a tough choice like that. It's not easy, but... I'm proud of your ability to, uh... Give up something that you enjoy just because you have higher ambitions. I think that's great. 
Alright. not the original Morgan? Assume Alex's plan succeeds. Then what? You're taking a massive gamble that there aren't more predators like the Who cares? Shut up. To the, to the bridge! In the history of the universe, humans have only recently become self-aware. Yet you're going to kick the door open on a much wider and older cosmic ecology. One well, we, better, we better get good. Waters. Alex believes we can be the bigger shark, but what if we're just poor swimmers, and now there's blood in the water? It's an interesting idea. I always did like the idea of space having... Oh, Cameron. Thank you for the resub. 33 months, mother... Fuck, man. You're coming up on uh, three years. Which is, I think, a, a pretty high score around these parts, so... Thank you for the consistent resubs, man. What the shit? Oh, it's a poltergeist. I don't care. I don't care, man. I think I might just run, get this ending, and then that'll be that. I can watch the other ending on YouTube. I think I, as much as I love this game, I think I am, I'm ready to see an ending. Ready to reclaim that uh, hard drive space. Is there someone out there who would fuck salad fingers? Yes. Yes. I can't think of something that someone would not fuck. Am I allowed to post Rule 34? You are. Just make sure to tag it as not work safe if it has terrible nudity. Oh, well that was easy. Alright. Yep. There's Pahil with salad fingers pages. What about those achievements? Good question, but it's on Steam, so it doesn't matter. I... I get it. I get why the system is how it is. On all levels, I get it. I get, I get the fact that, like, the badge and card system is just more microtransactions. It just... It generates free money. I get it. I'm okay with it. But, holy hell, would I be so in. So in. If achievements were linked to that system. And I get why they're not. I get why they're not. And if there were any way to make that work... Boy, I would be so, so down. But. Yeah. Who needs him, man? Gotta get that steam level? That's the thing. It has nothing to do with steam level. And I'd be so down if it did. But it doesn't. Steam level is making badges with trading cards. And you never get enough to make a badge from a game just by playing it. So you have to engage with the market. Either sell things or buy things. Which isn't theoretically bad. Because you earn, you earn store credit for selling cards. So if you, pun intended, play your cards right, it can amount to a decent, a decent discount on the game you purchased. But uh, yeah, it has nothing to do with game, game uh, accomplishment or game achievements, which is kind of a bummer. I hate Steam levels. I like it, except that it's tied to something that has nothing to do with you actually playing a game. At least the PlayStation ecosystem has has leveling. But it's tied to, like, trophies and shit. Even though I'm not super fond of the way they do that either. I'm very particular <laughs> with my achievements. Uh, I gotta get to the bridge. No, oh dear, dear, don't dear. Okay, I remember what that is. Steam levels allow more Steam friends. Yeah, you unlock... You unlock bigger friends lists in chunks of five. And, uh, your, your level, your number goes up. That's why there's so many bots that buy and play 99 cent games or get dev keys for cards to make money. Yep. There's a whole cotton industry about it. And utilities like like Idle Master that just run run and generate steam inventory. The irony is people don't think about their electric bill. They just have their PC running games all the time. They're like, it's free money. Do you really think you're getting out ahead of your kilowatt hours? Maybe you are, but that takes a chunk. 
Does anyone watch eSports Ejects? I'm gonna watch, but I feel like I'd get triggered. Are they decent at the game slash eventually get better? I don't know that I'm I'm a good source to answer that. I'd like to think so. What's the update on our station? Commander Dahl is making a speedy recovery and we are making our way to the shuttle bay. I have informed him of the threat to the station and Fine, Morgan, I'll meet you in the shuttle bay. Kinson, it has been a long time. I was just thinking about you the other day. Welcome back. How's life? I learn so much when I come here? Oh boy, I hope not. What the hell have you done? I simply acted on Morgan's orders. Oh. Morgan. Your operators locked me out of the con terminal. We need to link up to the null wave device if we're gonna get that signal off before it's too late. Consider the risk. Alex's plan, if it works, is only a short-term solution. None of us has the right to endanger every life on Earth. Every window on this station. It's engulfing the place. It's everywhere. Denies everyone a birthright to the stars. So much talking. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future, Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. I'm not arguing with a glorified desktop. Kill it, Morgan. Sorry, Morgan. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. You'll have to destroy me. Which means you'll be destroying yourself. Fuck. Fine. I'll do it myself. I'm sorry, Morgan. Well, I didn't want to harm your brother. The directives you gave me require I do everything in my power to ensure you destroy Talos One and all the Typhon. Detonating the station safeguards the Earth and perhaps provides a small measure of reparation. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. If you want to activate the Null Wave, you'll have to kill me. Christ. God damn. I don't know! Have you been to Smorgasbord? No, I haven't. Uh, I said I was dedicated to this. I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry, Jane. Question. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But yeah, that is kind of like suicide, isn't it? Huh? Oh. Oh. I like how they showed the shuttle going away, like Super Metroid. I really like games that don't have a, like a good and an evil ending. It's just two endings that are both kind of broken and weird. Except say ball sucking Christ. Sounds about right. You find a maid card game, Jess? Huh. No, uh, Demonic, I have not played Forza 7 yet. I'd like to, though. I plan on it. Interesting. Oh, it's not over yet? Oh, there's after credits? Alright. Yeah, I can just watch the other ending on on YouTube. I don't really need to play through it. There's some scary things going on. Whoop! I was kind of hoping there'd be like a dance number. In media, I have to compare two movies in the same genre? Because of you guys, I'm comparing Watchmen and Avengers. That's a good comparison, though. Theoretically similar, but... See my message about Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh... No, I don't think so. What was the... What was the message? That's a game we call the girl a dumb slut, right? Yeah. 
She put me in the friend zone, Jess. What was I supposed to do? But no, I finally played through it. I rather fully finished it. As far as I know, unless there's some uh, Easter egg business. I bought that fan club DLC. Because she wouldn't fuck you, nice. Well, yeah. It's a visual novel, isn't it? We read a book together. We made brief physical contact. If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. Switching to a different game after this. Yes! I'm gonna take a break, have a snack, and then, yeah, I'll find something else. Oh, Raphael wrote the song? It's the president of the, the company, yeah. Was he the one that left, or was it the other guy? I think it was him, actually. Harvey... What was the other guy's name? Kind of two... Two leads of Arcane. I didn't know we played through it. I mean, I did. I didn't stream it, though. Okay, I was about to say... That seems like really short credits, but... I still got A couple of animations coming out of it. That's interesting. Oh yeah. You think you just learned about it? That's pretty cool. Uh, some people, some people hyped me to it before it released on Steam, so it came out, and I was, I just played through it real quick. The stream, hic stream hiccups on my end. Dances, probably not. Um, Twitch is not kind. Um, usually it's okay on the weekends, but even now it's not. It's not the most reliable. So I'm, I'm dropping frames on this end. Um, so if there's a if there's a chunk every now and again, I think it's just because Twitch. Twitch won't take my data. I need it to, but it won't. I was prey, George. I liked it a lot. I really, really liked it. Yeah, just it's okay for you. Okay, good. I think I think it's it gets to where it's okay for most people. It might it might hang up every like 10, 10 minutes or so. That seems to be about when the frame drops hit. It's a pretty cool song. Ooh, Dr. Pear, thank you for the prime sub. Also, cookie cutters dropping not work safe links, so I got to click on them. Oh, it's like a whole comic? What does this have to do with fucking rocks? I don't understand. I'll have to read it later. Can't miss this cool track by tabbing out and reading porno in another tab. Porno, porno, porno. Didn't see the first 15 minutes of the stream. Hopefully YouTube will let me watch on mobile this time. Yeah, Rocky, Rockamax. A lot of people said they couldn't watch that Cuphead video on mobile, which is really strange. Some people said they could. I couldn't find a, a trend in there. If you ever wanted to play through the romance of a tentacle alien and some random love interest, check out Consentacle. Hmm. If that visual novel is free, I want to play it. Well, Doki Doki is free. never understand Japanese culture. Oh, it's not that hard. All you gotta do is like giant boobs. That's all it comes down to. Oh, it's a card game. Yes! I think I've seen this. I can't remember where, but it seemed like a fun game. Need somebody to fill your Danganronpa void?
Well, I guess have you played all the Zero Escapes, Jess? I can't think of... I am glad those games are coming out that are like Visual Novel Plus. More video game stuff. Any more games after the credits? Yeah, George. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break and uh, figure something else out. Oh, this is Cry Engine. Interesting. I guess they started development too long ago to use id tech. Hidden location. It do. Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return oh, to its own kind. Oh, shit. Or an attempt to integrate its dual natures. But its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos Y. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? Then, there was a man in psychotronics. Ingram. It let him go. Was that mercy? Would you let it live? Yes. Oh! Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to activate the Null Wave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. Oh, I got a little Typhon hand. But we had to make a choice. Ah, oh, shit. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. So you're like a captured Typhon that they've been running experiments on? So they put you in a simulation to see what you would do? Like how human you would act? Huh. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. That's... is the world today. Oh, shit. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean really see us. Take my hand if you do. God damn it. I mean I should do the nice thing, right? Don't do it. Don't take his hand. Yeah, rain. I got undone, didn't I? I like games that don't have a good and a bad ending. And here we are. <laughs> Exterminate the human race. Be nice. Yeah, they did kind of, uh... He won't kill? I see a lot of kills, so...
Okay. And that's that, I guess. <laughs> Interesting twist. And one of the one of the things that I'm fascinated by with any game is how they have to account for variance in play and variance in choice. Typically, like the follow-up method is Oh, have some VO lines acknowledging the binary decisions they made. They saved them, they didn't. And then pat them on the back a little bit. Oh, you're so good, yeah. But you have to flatten the decisions, right? So whether you blow up the station or not, it's all a simulation and the Earth was still taken over. Although I wonder, if you choose the explosion one, does the Earth still look like it's taken over by Typhon? Choose the other option now? Uh, I guess. I'll see where this quick save dumps me. But I don't want to, like, sit through all that VO again. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I don't want to go through all that again. Literally just went through all the good shit you did, still gave you the evil ending. Your decisions matter. I mean, they do matter. And as much as you got to play the game the way you wanted to, that was the, that was the decision that mattered. Story decisions don't matter, never will. Just embrace that as fast as you can, and your time in video games will be much simpler. What's next? I haven't decided yet. I'm going to take a, a break, and we'll see what happens after that. So I'll see you guys then. <laughs> Report unusual behavior. Barricade your homes. Avoid all contact with infected individuals. Wait for official instruction. <laughs> Wait my ass. Kill all sons of bitches. That's my official instructions. Who the hell? It's an evac station. For 30 flights of goddamn stairs. Helicopter. Maybe the helicopter. Maybe it's made of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where is everybody? Hello? Oh, this is not happening. Anyone here? This is not happening. This is not happening. Aren't they supposed to be saving our asses? Looks like there's been a change of plans. Stop the bombing run! It's got me! Sons of bitches, right?
are Jade Falcon, great among the clans. We are warriors who fight with the strength of the Falcon's claw and ascend to the heavens on the wings of the same. We remember with the clarity of Falcon's sight the words of Kerensky. Through the smoke of time he speaks to us, his chosen, and urges us onward with the promise of evil. We will retake what is ours by right, that shining jewel terror. Not the vastness of space, nor the wolf's obstinate howl will stay us from our righteous goal. We are crusaders and will trample all who stand in our way. Universal Studios Hollywood, it's Cybermania 94, celebrating the very best in computer and cartridge gaming and interactive entertainment. Now, please welcome your very live and very interactive hosts, Leslie Nielsen and Jonathan Taylor Thomas.
boot up Cybermania 94, a very special guest. Please welcome the First Lady of the United States. I sure hope she has health insurance. Take a look at the game. It's playable here at G-Foria for the first time anywhere. time gaming has had the stigma of being dudes only luckily that's just a stereotype and more and more women are playing games every day just not the ones I usually want to play here to present the next award is a video gamer and star of the forthcoming film 1114 put your hands together for mr. Colin Hanks Miami Vice will continue. This is my wife, Felicia Rochelle. And this is my husband, Ahmad Rashad. Join us on Friday Night Video. Hi, I'm Jerry Hall. Join me and Stevie Ray Vaughan on Saturday Night Live. Living Stone Bramble, he went eye to eye with Boom Boom Mancini and knocked him into retirement. Bramble Battles Crawley, live Sunday. Presenting probably for the last time in South Florida, the original Broadway stars, Mickey Rooney and Ann Miller in Sugar Babies. It's got belly laughs, belly dancers, pie in the face, drop your pants, gorgeous girls, snap the garter and wave the flag. Wanna have fun? See Sugar Babies at the Sunrise Musical Theater. Call 305-749-9400. That's 305-749-9400 now. It may be your last chance. When it comes to thinking of new ways to crash test cars, no one goes farther than Volvo. Volvo, a car you can believe in. Miami Grand Prix 86, Saturday at 4.30.